Reggie. Hey guys, welcome. Thank you for uh, Death tuning candy. in. Uh, sorry if you saw something fly from the camera camera. Um, we don't so know we get started to do some announcements real quick before we start. It looks like we're missing Ryan, so we might cut to a commercial until he gets here. Uh, as you do notice, we did not make room for Rafa tonight because he's not going to be here. Um, Rafa, do what you need to do. Take care. Um, there was... An issue at his work. An issue here in Modesto. And, and your mic. And be safe. And Thankfully. It's not working. Evidently. Chuck! What? John Mike, no work. With the good sound. <laughs> what? Okay, well, one moment while we try to address this. Does everybody else's sound work? If John's mic's not working, that means everybody else's isn't working. Uh, is my mic working? Ask Jonathan to hear everybody else. God damn it. Who told him he could make a grilled cheese? What? What? The rest of the box is one. I haven't touched them yet. Look, you gave them to Quasi, Quasi gave them to me. It sounds like Indian yeah. giving now. No. <laughs> I know he likes those, so I toss them to him. He said they were death candy. Um, I can only have like a, like a handful. Okay, so please bear with us and while we like, uh, try to address this. This will take oh, yeah. a few moments. Otherwise, it's bad for my um, diabetes. I'm going to go to a commercial real quick. So, hey, Ryan's here, by the yeah, way. Have what? Have fun. It's good, everybody. Sorry. That way. Okay. <laughs> Supposedly my mic is working now. Please let me know in chat there if it is. Now I can see. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Just gonna... Sorry about the technical difficulties. Can you turn down the just a hair? Thank you. Perfect. Yay. So welcome. And it looks like Ryan got here in time. Hi. So there was an incident that happened here in Modesto today. Everyone is safe, um, but because of the incident, uh, Rafa will not be joining us tonight. So Bill Sender will still be part of what's going on, obviously, but the player will not be here. Hopefully he can join us in chat. Woohoo! Woo. Um, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get started with announcements. Quasi, let's start with you. So uh, the choir season is starting up for the Modesto Symphony Choir. Uh, they are taking auditions uh, on Monday nights at uh, rehearsal. For the next three weeks? I think so. So, anyways. Well, that was my idea. If, um, if you want to sing with the symphony, uh, do some really cool concerts this coming year, hey, uh, come up and uh, show us what you got. Is it because of me? Oh, by the way, like, um, um, Elisa, congratulations on getting engaged. Aww. Woo! Congratulations. Congratulations. Round of applause. Is she watching? <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> but if she does, she'll see the congratulations. I think in a round of applause is when each person applauds once. But in turn. And it goes from slow to fast. So. Since Rafa's not here, Trevor, announcements. Uh, you have to do yours and his. Oh, right. Um, yes. So, I uh, want to thank our, uh, our sponsors of Endearing Films and Chuckathan. Who, thank you, Chuck. Uh, Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate it. Thank you, Chuck. Everything. You might occasionally catch glimpses of as he's the belly. getting things into uh, what is working okay. order. Uh, I need the air. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> you know, one day they're bouncing off that wall, so it's not fucking blowing around from your guys' mics. Oh, wait, they're not here. 
that low part is. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so. Right, better. Make sure it's all the way up. Right? So thank you, Endearing Films. Uh, thanks to Endearing Films and uh, Chuck. If you have any uh, video cinematography needs, uh, look them up. They are excellent. Uh, I think they're reasonably might be priced. Look up here. Talk to the audience, not to Chuck. Where? <coughs> well, because I'm getting I'm getting ideas of what it is you do. Uh, pet funerals um, <laughs> included in those. You do um, pet funerals? Yep. Wow. Oh, he does everything. Twenty dollars for an elephant funeral and uh, goldfish are eight grand. <laughs> 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 this, weekend, this weekend alone, I shot a wedding. Uh huh. I shot an actual funeral and a commercial. Well, there you go. Wow. Busy, busy. I'm sure they can hear you. So. Yeah. Uh, so and for you're those that can't, it was a wedding, an actual funeral, <laughs> and a commercial. And, a commercial and another commercial tomorrow. <clears throat> it's a great Channel life. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. It's a great life. He also does porn, if that's what you need. Um, but that's... Uh, well, it'd, be half, it'd have to pay. He shoots <laughs> by, he by shoot that, Trevor means he, he shoots porn. He, he does not do porn. <laughs> a huge difference. He'll be a fluffer if you need him. Uh, <laughs> okay, and there goes our five viewers. Amazing. <laughs> Um, uh, the rest of our announcements, if uh, you ever find yourself in the uh, Copperopolis area Copperopolis. and you have your phones turned on, you will be removed off the of stream. I mean, that's you, right? Uh, you know? That was me. <laughs> no, that's my phone. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, Chuck. You guys should be good now. Okay. Uh, however, uh, Copperopolis, uh, hey, Jimmy, World in Games, uh, led by our very own Jimmy, who's never been on the show, but <laughs> at some point, maybe. Correct. Um, we hope. We are we are going to work with Jimmy to get him on either this stream or Fortune Favors the Board at or some point. both. Hopefully at this some stream. Point. Well, we'll see. Uh, however, they have all of your board game, tabletop, card game needs from Magic: The Gathering to Dungeons and Dungeons and Dragons the to uh, oh god, what was that? Uh, oh, what was it called? The, the the board. We talked about it on Thursday. Fortune Favors the Board. That's the one. Oh, okay. Uh, Ranging from uh, cheap, cheap ass games to your big name brands, uh, anything that you can think of. If you need dice, you need miniatures. Yeah, they all, Jimmy's got it. They've they got even have accessories such as novels and books about things that happen puzzles. in games or that might inspire games. Puzzles, puzzles, etc. Uh, I think uh, they even have the uh, Sudoku if that's what you're looking for. Um, so in other words, you know a guy. I know a guy, and, and his, his name, name is Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. And you should <coughs> let him know that we sent you. Uh, they also have uh, demos for games if you're not sure if you want to buy it, but you want to try it out. Uh, he's got chess. Um, Does he have auto hey, chess? So what was that Probably other not. that other sponsor of ours? There was something big that happened on Fortune Favors the Board on Thursday. Are you talking about Four Eyes Ales? <laughs> yeah. What, what happened with that on Thursday? Well, uh, we, we had a, uh, a hat that Rafa... Acquired by various means. That um, if you watched last week, you saw me wear it just momentarily. And uh, oh, so you put your lights on it. We played it. We oh yeah. We played a game of villainous <laughs> for it, and uh, Moody uh, was the uh, victor of that. So <coughs> I mean, he did it in like three turns, which was kind of bullshit. But right. whatever. Um, well, for those of you who don't know, more two, like five. <coughs> or, you know. Moody is a regular on our fortune tables. No, it was show. three. I got two turns. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Uh, I think more than I had. So I think Rafa went first, right? Yeah. Yeah, because he had the most beard. Yeah, he had, he had the most beard here. Oh, yeah. then I went three turns. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So anyway. But uh, it, was, it was really fun. Uh, we found out that apparently Ryan knows less about Marvel than I do. Which is amazing, because I thought Trevor was our closet non-Marvel knowing person. I, I know names. Sort of. Ish. What well, you didn't lose know on. that Daredevil was the blind man. Yeah, just <laughs> really? I, I, had, I had a brain fart there. Really? You know? So, so was, you know, I just I'm just throwing that out. Um, so, Four Eyes Ales. Uh, we they also, also sent us their uh, summer. Oh God, it started with an S. Uh, my memory for That's yes, the that is their thing. logo. Uh, okay. However, their their memory for. My How memory you know? for names and types of alcohol. Here, I've got the camera closer. Uh, escapes me, but it was a very Ooh. nice summer uh, kind of ale, uh, very light and refreshing, nice 
thing to drink on your, your porch, porch swing, or in the backyard with friends around uh, a fire and some music. Um, I can get behind that one. Uh, very delicious. Uh, tweet at them or hit them up on Instagram at Four Eyes Ales, the way you see it spelt, but with no spaces, upside down. Or oh, there's also the blue one. I was thinking of the. Uh... That's their Instagram hashtag. And, Are we actually uh, broadcasting I'm, video? I'm not saying. Yes. I'm not uh, saying that George likes their beer, but George's book just happens to be completely covered with. Four Actually, eyes ales. George has tried. George one, has tried right? at least one yeah. of them, yeah. even though he doesn't drink. Is and he liked it. Enough? Yeah, yeah. Yours I, is I, buffering. I, mine's buffering right now, but it, it was up a second ago. Yeah. Okay. yeah his is just isn't, isn't showing video. It's just on the logo. Oh, oh, whatever. You could try to just get out of it and get back in. Yeah. Um, but yes, so Four Eyes Ales, uh, one of our great sponsors. Uh, I don't have too much more information about where they're going to be, but I know they're. Located around <coughs> Carmel, I believe. Um, it's oh. a good beer. If you get a chance, go ahead and pick some up. Yeah, they, they can ship them out to you if you need them. Um, sometimes, maybe not kegs. We're still waiting on that one because I know Chuck wants a keg of, of some Four Eyes Ales. As um, would we all, I think. Um, any other announcements? Uh, yes, thanks to Dragon Jam and Hairball who sent us... Uh, uh, Another game. It was uh, that's somewhere Curse over Court? there. It was it not. I mean, they did the send name? us Curse Court and they sent us Mysterium, but yeah. there's another one. That name I also don't remember. It's in a maybe you box. should thank them on like the other channel where it's actually exactly. being played. We, we well, they, they did. They did an unboxing on Thursday. And it was pretty fun. I, I happened to be on stream. Okay. It was a it was a great time. I believe you guys are going to be playing that game this Thursday, maybe. Uh, I know Rafa wants to take the time to learn the rules, so okay. I have no so, idea. So if not this Thursday, then at least Rafa the wants Thursday to learn the up. rules. I well, we're not going to follow Amazing. them. Yeah. He wants to yeah, read maybe. how it's supposed to be played before he makes it, so that he wins. before he screws it up. Right, because Rafa always wants to win. Make sure nobody else does. It's the third rule in every game Rafa plays. Now, I know that uh, Christine and I are going to be in Turlock at another convention from OhanaCon this weekend. Or this, not this weekend, this Come Monday, on. the 2nd. Um, so this September Monday? 2nd, Turlock Con. Yes, Monday. It's a holiday, and so we're going to be there. So if you are in the Turlock area, come on down. It's OhanaCon. It'll be at the Turlock Fairgrounds. We'd Monday. love to meet you um, and say hi. And if you have already met us, come down and hang out and chat. It's fun. What day again? Monday. The 2nd. September so 2nd. on Labor Day. On Labor Day. I get paid to stay that home Monday. that day. So come on down, I'll Trevor, work. and enjoy. Um, so it's my one day to sleep. He said he said he gets paid to stay home that day. He should day. probably sleep then. He, don't, he won't get paid if he gets to if he you has know, to go you know, I don't <laughs> want to spoil him allow him too much sleep. Right. Uh, any other announcements at this point? Oh, George, you have an announcement. I have an announcement. <gasps> this past Tuesday, I started a new job at DHL Woo! Working Warehouse. Woo! Six days a week, ten hours a day. Nice. Right on. I'm exhausted after this week. <laughs> Everybody's getting warehouse jobs. Huh? I can almost imagine. Guaranteed full time is guaranteed full time. Right. You know, and that's that's warehouse, it mm -hmm. seems, in this area. Mm -hmm. You know, just putting that out there. Uh, anyone else have any announcements that they want to make? I made a delicious grilled cheese sandwich for over here. Which There's no business like show right, business. So okay, so seems like the announcements are done. Let's go ahead and get started on this week's episode of Recipe for Disaster. <laughs> Last Recipe for Disaster. Ah. No, no, no. There's no S. Oh, I thought there was. No. No, John just doesn't know how to spell his own show name that we gave so him. So where's my journal? Oh, right. I don't know. Your what? I thought journal? those had been passed out. Oh, they... No, right I had out there. the measure. I thought everybody had their There's own journal on them. One of them is probably uh, Rafa's. One's Rafa's and one's yours. It's literally I'm right sorry there. about I, that. I can't... There's stuff in the way. Otherwise, I'd grab it for you. So while you're grabbing that, let's do a recap of last week. Last week, you get started out with you guys minding your own business and right. doing your own things and getting lost in the uh, drudgery of day-to-day -day life when suddenly... Excuse me? Mobs started happening with cell phones going off and you guys uh, determining that it was a Belial attack. And in your own ways, figuring out how to thwart it, yet somehow coming together as a team to do so. 
Oh, we need to do something about that. You all managed to, to take off and follow the lead of where Dangerous was seen at a window. Amaya flew towards that window dra- dramatically to, to try to corner her, followed shortly by Dustin, and then immediately after Dustin was Bill Sender, who didn't get there quite as fast, but he still got there, which is important. Uh, Bill went in through the front door as Dustin was trying to scale the side of the building a little hazardously for a few moments. Um, Bill, in making his way up, stepped over dead bodies and managed not to lose it. So that was a major um, accomplishment (coughs) for Mr. Sender. Meanwhile, the rest of the group decided to to convene at the bus and make their way also to the same apartment building with... Uh, Barnabas. Jonah and Barnabas going in the door, leaving Jack as the blind sentry. Well, to make he sure says he's blind. To, to make sure that no one managed to leave. Hey, he's blind. While all of this is happening, Amaya sees Dangerous as she slips through the hallway and follows her. A chase ensues where they're dodging down the corridors, and Amaya gets a shot off, shoots her in the shoulder. And Dangerous still manages to slip back into the stairwell. Meanwhile, Bill, as he was going up the stairwell, heard someone else. And Amaya had also heard someone else in the stairwell. And that person was ascending the stairs. And that is where we left off last week. With Amaya in hot pursuit of Dangerous. With Bill running up the stairs towards some unseen person. And me on the balcony. Dustin climbing in through the window... That Amaya had flown through and shattered. You forgot to mention the most important part. Jonah and Barnabas making their way through the lobby. (laughs) And Jack standing at the door. Uh, I'm going to put my back to the door. And take out my notebook and continue writing what I was going to be doing. Before everybody else left. We need to let let John finish setting the scene before talking. I mean, really. let's, let's, Let's just... Are you done? And with that, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> no, Mr. Impatient. Why are you smelling the bird? I don't know. It smells weird. It smells like alcohol, huh? Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention that the parrot is in the bus. Okay. Now that we know that. I have no nose. I know you have one. It's, it's, it's yeah, it just doesn't work. Oh, It does that. smell funny. Yeah. See? Cute little button nose. Anyone's ever said about my nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going to start with a fresh round of initiatives, mainly nose. because I think I scrapped the paper from last week, and uh, which is a lie, it's right here. But I'm going to start with a fresh round anyway because I feel that is the best thing to do, especially since we're down a person, right? You know, this is. Probably the first game that Bill Sender might actually be courageous. <laughs> <laughs> and to he's be not fair, here to be there. Don't, to get, be fair. don't get ahead of yourself. I'm planning on playing Bill Sender the exact same way that Rafa has. So you're going to text him and ask what he's doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we had a we had a short 15-minute conversation about what he wants his character to do this episode Okay. in his absence. So, Uh-oh. again... Exact same way that Rafa is. He stole my sunflower it. seed, so I mean. Yeah, he I was know, running. He was running right? up the stairs. It's so with amazing. The Man's sunflower a death. Seeds. Man's a dead man. <laughs> now, I I can just find him. She's bus. on the bus. Aww. I don't think she can pick up the bag either. Yeah, I think it's so. a parrot. Definitely carry it. It's a, a tiny bag one or. like that, right? No, the Ooh. full bag. No. Big bag. Yeah, no, it's bag, like a. I'm assuming it's like an industrial size. It's probably industrial size. I just cleared out their storehouses. <laughs> storehouses. It's a piggly wiggly. It's just a convenience store. Exactly. So whatever they have in the back is gone. <laughs> piggly wiggly is a grocery store. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been to them. Yeah, so have I. They're actually a store. Yeah. Interesting yeah. problem. Noise. One moment In while I get things. Uh, go ahead and roll your initiatives. And 1d10 I'm plus to base. Find yep. yep. 1d10 ah. plus base. Darn it. Because I rolled two sevens. Ah, 
that's why I couldn't find it. I'm like, I can't find his character sheet. Holy crap. Wrong folder? Yeah, I moved it. It's all my fault. I moved things. You should have done that. I know, right? Why are you doing that? I'm trying to be more... Uh, Proactive? Well, organized? Organized. Without actually being organized, apparently. Well, Pretty much. Me all the way. Okay, <laughs> so... Jack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Initiative. 29. Amaya. 31. Dustin. Same. By same, I'm assuming you mean 31? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Jonah. 15. Wow. Mm -hmm. Jonah doesn't have a high initiative. He doesn't like fighting Barnabas. right away, but he likes fighting. Barnabas <laughs> is on 23. When the cleric Bill Sunder has a higher on initiative on than you, there's an 29. issue. 29. Right? right? It's because I'm a tank. I don't need a fight. I just need to absorb damage. Lots of damage. Right, which means you need to be in the front. I mean, they can still attack me. Someone will say, hey, big man, let's fight. Issues? And then I fight. Huh? Issues? Yeah. And we no have issues. Well, Jack, you got to realize that uh, this, is essentially a, this is essentially a chase scene, so obviously the people that are the fastest are going to be uh, in the front. And us, uh, us mortals that have to hoof it with two legs instead of flying. Hey, I use two legs too. You use four. I use two. Hey, uh, Jack, roll a d10 for me. I'm also out front. I'm sorry, you climbed up roll the side a of the building. Me. You did not say you were just using your two arms to just to just pull yourself up. I'm assuming Climbing you used your legs thing. too. Climbing is one thing, running is another. This sounds like a Gimli Legoist argument <laughs> for some reason. It does. Well, I would assume that I'm the handsome elf and this is the, the stunted wolf. Besides, he has a beard. Okay. <clears throat> So we're going to start the round. With I mean, Amaya. the dwarf was handsome enough okay. to get uh, three locks of the most beautiful maiden's hair in all of the land. I okay, so we're going to start the round with Amaya. <laughs> 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 My fault. <laughs> but I feel like that's more of a kink than anything else. And I'm going to have to borrow the guns from the fort <laughs> and just start shooting people, I think. Okay, okay Amaya. I'll see it coming. What do you do? Um, my she plan is to somehow knock her out and restrain her. Okay. Um, so you saw her dart into the stairway and you're right behind her. So you you have a chance to move to get a clear shot at her. You can choose to either shoot her or close the distance and do hand-to-hand -hand attack. Hand-to-hand. -hand, uh, after all, martial artist is 10. And okay. I don't have marksmanship. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Just like me in real life. Except not. <laughs> I am exactly not a martial like, artist. Exactly <laughs> like you, but different. <laughs> the question is, are you marksman? Okay, so you need an 11 or better to hit her. 12. Okay, so you hit her. Oh, that's, that's good. That's a bonus. I need a higher low. Hi. So what sort of strike are you looking at doing to knock her out? Are you trying to hit her on the back of the head? Are you trying to grapple her, throw her against a wall? Grapple and choke her out. Okay. So you come up behind her doing the whole choke out thing. I'm going to try. You, you do it amazingly. You, you get her held. Your arm is around her throat. You're starting to choke her. That's, that's where we're at right now. Okay. <coughs> on her initiative. We'll see what else happens. Um, Dustin. Go barreling down the hall after the sound. Okay, I need you to roll a perception roll as you get into the room. I rolled a 10. Okay, so you get in, you hear a lot of different sounds just flooding in from out in the hallway. There's nothing in the room, by the way. The room is completely empty. So it's a completely empty apartment? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, it looks like no one's lived here. Um... Nothing's out of place, not a layer of dust even. It looks like a freshly emptied apartment. Um, you do hear noises echoing out of the hallway. Out of the hallway. Okay. When you get there again, there's noises coming from 
either straight forward or to the left, your choice. To the left. Okay, so you start going to the left. I need a higher load from you. Hi. That was cocked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was like it balanced literally between yeah. the nine and the one. And it's I'm like, like, do we really oh. do this? <laughs> <laughs> How does that happen? Anyway. Um, okay, so you start running towards what looks like an opening for the stairwell. And as you're doing that, Bo's coming back out. Okay. Meanwhile, you've got you've got dangerous, you know, you're doing the chokehold on her, and she's flailing a little bit. And she reaches back and grabs your. Uh, question: Did you put your wings away, or are they still out? They might still be kind of out. Okay, so she reaches back and like puts her hand, like trying to grab behind your head, mm-hmm. and she grabs one of your wings. That's gonna hurt. And as she does, you hear her go, <laughs> and she flips you. You're flying now towards the opening in the stairway, and that wing she touched isn't working. Aww. Like, the energy that is between the rods just vanishes as you're plummeting Ooh. down towards that area. That's very cool. And she looks down and goes, oh, I love technology. I see on the roof. And she was running. Dirty pool. (laughs) Okay, Bill Sender is running up the stairs. Okay, he's done. (laughs) I will explain what happens from your guys' perspective with Bill Sender. I'm not going to explain to the group what happens from Bill Sender's standpoint. Just in case we decide to later go back with Rafa for posterity and record it with just a one on one. So. It's called a reshoot. <clears throat> okay, so we are now to Jack. Mr. Mihoff, how are you doing there? Um, do you want me to just keep you informed if anyone comes in and out, or do you want to me to check with you on every initiative? Um, I mean, right now I have no idea that anything's changed. Okay. So I think I'm just going to keep standing with my back against both you doors. Do have is it one door yeah. or two? Uh, it is one. It's one door. Ooh, one fantastic. Door. That's even easier. I'll just stand right up against that. Okay. And uh, you do have extended hearing. Are you actively going to be <coughs> using it, or are you going to be just well, sure, but minding I your own business? don't know what I'm listening for. Okay. Well, you did hear gunshot before, so I'm assuming you're listening for more gunshots. Well, maybe. Okay. Maybe? No, you never know what might happen. Um... I also don't know whose gun it was. True. Yeah. So you are running towards the opening. You just pulled to the stairway. You just pulled your your bow out. Sliding around the corner, you see a man in a rumpled business suit. He's got his pistol out. Freeze! Is like literally slides. You see like something liquidy on his feet as he's sliding sideways and he's pointing his pistol at you. And I'm. Knocking an arrow as he's doing that. No, no, no. You're popping your bow out okay. as he's doing that. Okay. So literally this round, you pulled your bow out. He's coming up and he goes, freeze! <coughs> Do you move? Do you not move? He stops. Get down on the floor, please. I am down on the floor. Face down, scumbag. Scumbag, is it? Don't make me shoot you. Do you know Bill? Do you get down on the floor? Nope, doesn't move yet. Okay. What's your agility? Nine. Eighteen plus three. Ouch. This is going to suck. Total physical. Total physical is... Trevor, can I see your... Six or twelve. Gone. Six or twelve. What? Uh, the twelve is w- is with is against cold attacks. Okay. So six. Oh damn it! I forgot. Yeah, my book's a nightmare. What are you looking for? Yeah, right. If you're looking for weapon stats. They're behind the red. Thank you. That that helps. But before the other pages. Ooh. Wait, you can see? <laughs> no, I know by touch. <laughs> How do you know it's red? Touch. <laughs> okay, so you say total physical is a six. Mm-hmm. 
Regis. You take was three health ouch. as he shoots you through the shoulder. Bam! Which shoulder? Your right, your left one. Okay. The one that you're drawing against. It yep. was a six. <laughs> so I need you to make a will roll to see if you're dazed. Do you need a ten or better? Because you took half your health in one hit. That would be a five. You are dazed. So you're, next, you're going to miss your next, next initiative turn. Um, the turn after that, you can try to come back, but your next round, you're... He's on his ass. Yeah. You're... Oh, uh, you didn't think he was actually going to shoot, and he did. Um, Barbus, you hear a gunshot echoing down the stairwell as you guys are clearing the lobby and getting into the stairs. I need you to roll a perception roll. Along with Jonah, go ahead and roll a perception roll for me as well. And Trevor, you hear a gunshot. Mm-hmm. You hear a gunshot from below you. Or, sorry. Same level. Above you? Yeah, above. You, you got, sort of got thrown off. Would I hear the gunshot? It's here, this way. Yes, it's in the stairwell. Okay. So it would echo. Yeah. When, well, depending on what you rolled on your perception. 14. Okay, yes. Yeah, you, you hear heard it. <laughs> I figured. You hear the gunshot, but you're actually, your attention is more to the bodies. Mm-hmm. Littering the floor. <laughs> And, you know, from your angle, Jonah, you actually see Bill Sender, like, two flights up, running. Mm -hmm. And you see bodies laying down. And, like, there's blood. Looks like someone just came through here. And anyone that was on the stairwell got shot. Um, There's good, probably, like, three people between you guys and the next floor up just laying on the stairs. Where exactly did the majority of them get shot? Was it kind of just, like, chaotic? Or was it, It, like, precision? It looks There there was not a precision. any, Any precision to it. It's, like... Wherever the, the nearest point of their body in relation to the gun was, all of them were lethal, all of them one shot. Gotcha. Any coins in their eyes? Um, high or low? High. No. No. Not on these that are immediately closest to you. Gotcha. And how many bodies are there? There's three on this part of the stairwell going up to the next level. And there's quite a few more? Up I mean, you well? can see Bill, like, the way he's moving up the stairs, you can tell he's avoiding the bodies. Right. Uh, since we're right next to each other, can I just talk to him real quick? Yeah. Even though he has an yeah. initiative before me? Yeah, you guys are the last two initiatives. So. Yeah, I know. Um, gotta get into character. Gotta get the accent. Ooh. Sorry. Trying to trying to figure it out. Uh, Bless your heart. <laughs> so, uh, so, Preacher Man. Uh, with these bodies, I don't know if you want to go around trying to Trying to get some people out of this building because they might be uh, they might be in danger. I mean, I know the bodies are kind of going up rather than down, but we might want to just send people downstairs. Just not outside because otherwise they might be attacked by a blind man. Yeah, and Jonah, we're not in danger from these. They are dead. No, I'm not saying these folks. I'm meaning the folks that are probably still inside their own. In apartments. the meanwhile, John, <laughs> is the elevator at the first floor? Higher low. No. No, it is not at the first floor. I mean, you push the button as you're, like, walking through, and it didn't immediately open, so, you know, it's... Mm-hmm. So, what do you propose to do? Well, you can use your, uh, your awesome persuasive powers to help people get down, make sure that they, uh, Nobody resists or anything like that. I, suppose. I think I need to see them first. Well, you can go door to door, I suppose. Uh, I don't think <clears throat> it would be a good use of my time for me to go door to door, waiting for people to answer the door, and then telling them to get out. I think Perhaps. They're, I think they are scared out of their mind, and they will not open any door for anybody. <laughs> are you guys saying this as you're moving up past, or are you just oh, yeah. standing there talking? No, we're still moving up No, no, no. I'm, I'm waiting for the elevator. Okay, no, no. okay so you're <laughs> standing there talking. Okay, great. <laughs> because, Sorry. Because, because I'm not going to risk going up those stairs and slipping on those uh, slippery, slippery stairs with the blood of the, the innocent people that have been sacrificed for this, this, this game that we are playing. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, your turn. Okay. So you're starting to fall. She just threw you over the edge. 
You do have a chance to try to save yourself with an agility roll or something to catch onto a ledge, but you do know that your one wing is not working. I'll try agility. Okay. Eleven? Okay, yeah, so you are able to, to grab a hold of the bottom of the ledge. So it's like, the, the way it is is it's a hard wall, little half wall, and then there's like open space. crown molding, and there's open space that would go straight down to the, to yeah, the right. floor area, and you're able to grab one of the, some of the crown molding and just sort of hold yourself there. Um, that counts as an instant action. You have a movement. You can try to like do an acrobatic maneuver to get back up. Um, you could also try to do an acrobatic maneuver to get back up and attack her at the same time. I'll try to get back up and get my bearings. Okay. Um, gymnastics is six. Okay, so you need a seven or better. Twelve. Okay, yeah, so you catch yourself fingertips. I mean, this would be a great movie scene. You know, you just got thrown off the top. You just deftly arc your body just right, grab with your fingertips on the ledge, use that force to whip your body back around in the opposite direction and back up and you land right in front of her. And she was... Gloating. Gloating and starting to run <laughs> towards the stairs, or towards the the access ladder to the roof. Is that all I've got then? Um, no, you can attack her if you wish. Um, I'll try martial artist again, okay. this time to knock her feet out from under her. Okay, perfect. So... Eleven or better again? Nope, I got a ten. Okay, so... Spear. No, it's okay. So as you, as you go to, to knock her feet out, she actually jumps backwards. And sort of lands in a crouched position. She's got an evil, wicked grin on her face. So how much of you is technological, anyway? You'll and never know. <laughs> Dustin. I'm on my You ass. missed your turn. I'm just letting you know this is the turn you miss. Okay. Uh, I think I might. As she lunges forward and tries to do, like, a, a martial arts strike to your throat. <laughs> and as she comes up, you're able to turn your body just enough to where she barely misses Does your neck. Does she her sternum again? No, 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 no. But it's it's one of those one of those like her hand Brush barely your grazes your skin. You take one point damage. No, no, no. <laughs> she 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 missed, but it's like she missed it by about as much as as you missed hitting her feet. So it's all like really close hits. Awesome. You guys are like pretty evenly matched. So she gently crushed her chin. No, no, no more like her neck. Mm. <laughs> Does she give it a little with her <laughs> fist? <laughs> <laughs> she gently crushed her neck with her fist. Some people are into that. <laughs> <laughs> are you? You'll never know. That's true. <laughs> um, even That's though you're dazed, really you know everything is is weird. You think you hear someone shouting. It's really hard to, to figure things out. Um, but you do see the guy, like, duck real quick and then come running towards you as opposed to continuing past you. And he, like, just sort of step, sidesteps you and moves past. Uh, I'll get back to you, Jack. When someone comes down, everyone else is seems to be going up. <laughs> Let me know when I'm done writing in my book. Yeah. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah. So you guys, waiting for the elevator. Your conversation was happening. Uh, mm -hmm. Hire low to so see if the elevator dirty? arrives. Uh -huh. Are you writing dirty limericks? It's, uh, it's almost there. It's, it's one floor up. It's a slow-moving elevator. Well, it's not that slow. I mean, these are four-second rounds. So, mm -hmm. um, you know. Is there any commotion in the hallways? No. 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 It's like Nobody people ran. are refusing to come out of their apartments with okay. the sounds of gunshots echoing through the building. Oh, gee, yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. They're probably also trying to pretend they're not there. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Still, I think it'd be, be, be safer for them to go down because everybody else is going up. Crazy. Yeah. Bottle. It is what it they is. They have active shooter training. They yeah. know what yeah, to yeah. do when there's they a They live in Atlanta. In I'm not saying that Atlanta is a dangerous city to live in, but come on. Oh, who are you kidding? <laughs> It's Atlanta. It's not Chicago. <laughs> I mean, it's not Chicago or Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, where they show the love with bullets. All right. Well, if, you, if you're going by, by city nickname, <laughs> Atlanta is not Atlanta. It is Hotlanta. Uh, well, that's right. Atlanta. It's Hotlanta. 
And yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know. While he's waiting for the elevator, I'm just going to start going up the stairs just to try to see if there's anybody still alive to try to help them out. Okay, so you go up to the next flight. Mm -hmm. You're able to, to you know, bypass those people, get up the flight of stairs pretty quick. So, John, in these modern times, they wouldn't be sure if it was a real thing going on outside or just a movie in someone else's house. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so you go see if there's anybody yes. still alive? Yes. George. George. No matter how good your sound system is. A lot of pep goes into a movie shoot. shoot. I know. Um, <laughs> no, there's none still alive on the on the next landing up. Uh, there are only two other bodies on the next landing up. Okay, so three but there's bodies, lots of blood. Three bodies before, two bodies now. Yeah, lots of blood. Lots of blood. How many bullet wounds? One each. And lots of blood. Lots of blood. One of them got hit right in the chest where the heart should be. Mm -hmm. That just spurted. Okay. You know, Jonah. You know, it's, it's, I, I want to say, you know, if you've watched any anime, everyone's got about five gallons of blood in their body, and you're each of each one of these have lost about five gallons. Um, yeah. So, and the gallon of blood as a medical professional, <laughs> yeah, the human, yeah. the average human body as an adult is five liters. Yes, I know. That was the we joke. Know. Hey, Jonah. Okay. So, yeah. mind yourself. The shooter is probably that that silhouette. Uh, a uh, person from Belial. What? Uh, dead shot, except for the evil people. What? <laughs> <laughs> You'll figure it out. Go on. <laughs> what? Amaya, it's your turn. <laughs> hey. hey, dumb is as dumb does. Oh, no, he has one ear, remember? <laughs> yeah, except I'm shouting at the stairwell. It'll <laughs> echo. It doesn't mean he can't hear you. Uh... I'm going to see if object realization will yield anything. My okay. rank is six. So what are you trying to? What's in the room? So there's stairwell. a you're you're in a stairwell. Above behind you is the ladder to the roof, and that seems to be where she was trying to get to before you landed. <coughs> you don't need object realization for that. Okay. Um, but you do know that there's stairs there. You could probably get up there. I'm not going to make you roll. Um, you can get up there and try to lock it. It looks like it's a hatch, not a stairwell up to a door. So you can probably find a way to seal her in. I'd like that. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. So you reach up. You know, she just barely missed you. You reached up, grab with one of your hands, do a cool acrobatic maneuver, lift your feet up, launch yourself feet first towards the hatch, you pop it open, you're on the roof. It takes a couple seconds for you to just slam it shut as you hear her trying to come up the uh, the railing, after, the rungs after you. The metal ladder. You get to roll a perception, or a, a will roll to see if you are able to come undazed. Three. No, you are out of it. You, yeah, no. Um, you lose another health, by the way. Um, so you're now at Two, and you're just like pawing at the bullet hole, like trying to figure out how to stop it. But you you just don't have the, the capacity to register what you need to do at this point. You were just I've been shot. I, I've never this is this is a new experience. Mm -hmm. Arrows are one thing. Bullets completely different. different. <laughs> <laughs> they do more damage. <laughs> Now, you know, that, <laughs> this is a perfect time for you to have developed a chewing gum habit. <laughs> right? <laughs> in, your, in your stupor, you see someone else who looks kind of familiar, but you, you just can't quite place things, also in a suit. Bend down and say, don't worry, you'll be okay. I'll send help. And he goes running after the guy that shot you. <laughs> is, is he going to send a few bills as well? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> he's bleeding out and he's dazed. He doesn't know first aid. Oh, he knows things will aid. be okay. <laughs> this, You'll be fine. I'll this send help. Is, this is perfectly <laughs> in line for Mr. Sender. <laughs> right? Meanwhile, your phone rings. Anonymous Lee Preacher. Hey, uh, the cat man's bleeding. Just thought I'd let you know. I'm following the guy that shot him. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to get him. Don't worry. Click. He's bleeding. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it that time of month? Oh. And then your phone rings again. 
I forgot to say he's on the fourth floor. Click. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is so. <laughs> Bless your heart. Mm. Okay. I was gonna say where? Where is he bleeding? At? So what are you doing? <laughs> uh, the elevator gets there, so I'm assuming you get into the elevator. Yes. I'll uh, I'll press four and press the door closed. Okay. Button to to make it faster. Okay. Yeah, right. No works. Um, I need your roll perception roll. Yes. I put my book away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, your book easy to slide away. Not a problem. Um, still moving up the stairs, but I'm also wanting to check every hallway to make sure that there's nobody. Like yeah. So you duck your head out. You know, you don't see anyone. Any cahoots or anything. You or know. Problem. You don't see anyone like bleeding in the hallways either. Right. It's or like whoever room. whoever was going up was taking a moment to just shoot right. the people in front of them in as they were way. running in, in their way. way. Yeah. Um, you go up to the third floor, um, yeah. and on the third floor, there's actually no bodies. Like on the stairs? Yeah, on the stairs there was like another two, oh. but on the landing there's no bodies. Well, weren't there no bodies on any of the landings? No, no, there was two bodies uh-huh. on the landing of the second floor. Okay. So they were actually on the stairs this time, rather than landing yeah. the stairs. Yeah, uh, there was three people on the stairs as you went up the stairs. There were two bodies on the landing. There were another two bodies on the <laughs> stairs. There's no bodies on the landing of the third floor. Interesting. Okay. Ow. And from what you can see, there's no bodies on the stairs <laughs> on the third floor either. Okay. Um, <laughs> Took them a floor for people to realize, oh shit, let's not go in there. <laughs> Anything suspicious about the hallway itself? No. No? no, you stick your head out, it's, it's <laughs> deserted. No doors open or anything like that? No. No? And nobody seems to have, like, traveled the, the hallway itself? Not that you can tell. No. <laughs> okay. It is, a, it is not the best of, um, best maintained apartment building in the world, but at the same point, you can tell someone recently passed. Right, yeah. I'm guessing there's, like, carpet or something. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah there, there's, there's carpeting, actually, but it, you don't see bloody footprints, and whoever would have okay. ran down there from here... If they came up the stairs, would have left bloody footprints. So, I'm still so, gonna go double check real quick the hallway. Okay, so you're gonna run down the third floor hallway. Yeah. So, John, before I was so rudely interrupted by Jonah <laughs> because I was still my turn, and you had asked for a perception roll, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. and he first, jumped the gun on me. Yeah, yeah right. He so interrupted first, and is, I forgot. No, no. As Jonah I'm does. blaming <laughs> you. You are, you are being, you are being totally rude, and I shall dock your pay because of it. <laughs> okay. So, what did you roll on your I episode? rolled a 16. Okay. So, in the elevator, um, one thing catches your eye. Mm-hmm. Two things catch your eye, but the first thing that catches your eye is it uh, looks like someone has taken the time to open up the access panel and you see all the wires mm-hmm. for the elevator. It doesn't look like they've messed with anything. Nothing looks out of place. Nothing's sparking. But they opened up the access panel. Mm-hmm. And it looks recently done. The other thing that catches your eye is up above, like where the light is and the grating is, mm-hmm. um, you see a couple little envelopes, like someone slid an envelope or two, like big manila envelopes up into that area. Admiral Akbar says hi. Of course. So, you know what? While I'm waiting for this delightful elevator to make its way to the fourth floor, I will get those envelopes, I suppose, because wow. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I need you to, uh, I know it's going to sound weird, but make a dexterity check. It's it's dexterity. It's hard to fish things unless you've got a ladder to get up on to get them easily. Or you're tall enough. I mean, how tall is your character? My character is 5'8". Yeah, so recently I was in an elevator and I saw a cookie up there on a hotel while I was in Los Angeles, and I couldn't get the cookie. You to saw slash. a cookie oh. up there, so naturally, yeah. naturally, you would reach for a cookie. Yeah, well, cookie. I was going to help clean up the place. That's what I do. Oh. If I see a mess, I try to clean it up. It's just part of who I am. And so I was going to try to get the cookie down to to throw it away, um, but I, I couldn't. So it's it's not as easy as it sounds. You, you saw it. Did you try jumping? So John, the elevator. Yeah, John. Yeah. Oh, let's, uh, no, I did. I'm serious. And it was in a hotel. It was would a nice it be hotel. easier? Not say the hotel because I don't want people to think that it's a crummy hotel. <coughs> Anyways, <laughs> John, would it be easier if I used magic? Yeah, it would be a lot easier if you used magic. Okay, I got six levels of street magic. Okay, go ahead and make your roll. 
Uh, for that, <coughs> just an eight or better. You know, nothing big. Once well, a thirteen. Okay, so you create little gusts of wind to to move them down, and you're able to to gather. There's I two envelopes specifically. Mm-hmm. There's two Manila size envelopes. Praise the Lord. Okay, um, Amaya, yeah. you're up on the roof. You've got it latched shut. Okay. Are you sitting on the thing to keep it down, or how are you trying to keep it closed? I probably wouldn't have. I am trying to think. I mean, you could have taken your knife and shoved it in the, in the you know, to wedge Holy it shut. shit. Or I could dare her to come up. Yeah, yeah, you could. Whichever way, however you want to do this. I'm just trying to give you I ideas. probably wouldn't have locked it with my knife then. Okay. I want a challenge. Okay. Okay, so... Now that's a whopper. That's a, yeah. Malted milk ball, actually. <laughs> no, it's a whopper. Hey. Labels. I forgot the chocolate part of that. Okay. So, so you're prepping for her to come out? Yeah, I'd probably be ready. Should have got some kind of salt? trouble. That's chocolate salty, salty ball. Malted ball, yeah. It's not salted. It's not salty. Dustin, you get another uh, will roll. Eighteen. So yeah, after that person said you're gonna be okay, your brain just sort of thick. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be. Oh fuck! I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you're you're able to come to your senses. He fishes out of his first aid kit and starts patching himself okay. up. Okay, roll. Sixteen. Twenty-five. Okay, yeah. So you're able to stem the the blood loss. So you're not losing any more blood at this point. You know that the projectile is probably still in you, um, and you've you've got a lot of pain in that arm. So you're not going to be able to use your left arm very well at okay. this point. Um, you see the uh, um, Amaya. You see the hatch open. She comes out. You get a free attack. Martial artist again. Okay. Um, Sweep the leg. This time you only I need a seven or better. Is Amaya the first in initiative? Yes, she is. Eleven. Eleven? Okay. So what sort of attack are you doing? You see her head come up? Aggressive. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you going to like smack her on top of the head? You punch her in the face? You... I'd probably be a little pissed about my wing. Okay. So, does she have hair? Yes, long flowing hair, not pulled back into a braid like yours is. Ooh. I'm probably gonna grab it. Okay. In a way that makes it pull, like not a big chunk. Okay. So, oh, so you're gonna grab her. Are you gonna use that to like move her head around, or I mean, what? Pull the and then get her in a chokehold again, throat. maybe. Okay. Like, yeah. So. You, <laughs> okay, so so, so you, you, re- you see her head <laughs> come up, ladder. you're just waiting, you're crouched, you're out of her immediate field of view as she's coming up, you reach over, grab her head, pull her up a little bit, and then slam her throat down along that edge, oh. to just sort of choke her out, and you're like holding her and you throw your weight on top of her head, you feel her twitching, and Snap. she dies. <laughs> and as she's, as she's reaching up, you feel her hand sort of like brushing your wing and you take a health mm. as it starts working again but it like flaps and buffets and throws you off of her and so it sort of like throws you at an, at an odd angle and she's like <coughs> and she lets go and falls back in meanwhile <laughs> Jack you get to roll perception roll <laughs> four Okay, you don't notice. Also, <laughs> also how utterly uh, predictable. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't see me. You know. Yeah, you don't see it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I should hope not. Come on, John. Missed opportunity. Um, Jonah, 
You go down the hallway a little bit. I'm skipping you on purpose because mm. you're... Okay. Okay. Right. Got it. Okay. Um, so you uh, you no, are good. in the elevator, and I will... I mean, right are now. you going to go through those oh, baby. or not? Those manila envelopes, you're just going to hold on to them and wait for the door to open? Um... If the door hasn't opened, I'll go through. Okay, I mean it's it's a it's a quick elevator, but it's going to take more than twelve seconds to get to the top. <laughs> That's fine. Because <laughs> it's not a lightning fast elevator either. It's it's probably going to take you about a minute to get to the top. So you hear your favorite rock band playing his elevator music now? No, no, it's <laughs> worse than that. You hear your least favorite rock band oh! playing his elevator music. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be the girl from Ipanema. Right, yeah, too. or it's a small world. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I like that song. Yeah, until you hear it for eight hours. I mean, anyway, I sing it for eight hours. <sighs> You're that guy. Anyway, <laughs> you've done it for how many years? So, you that out yet? are you going to be going through the stuff, Quasi? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will inform you what's in there in just a few minutes. So, running down the hallway. You're running down the hallway. You do not see anything disturbed on the third floor. Um, I do need you to make a reception roll, though. I love it. Okay, you don't see anything disturbed on the on that floor okay. at all, um, but you do what see someone floor? fall past the window at the is end of the moving? hallway. Is that another stairwell at the end of the hallway? No, <laughs> no, no. The all the hallway ends. There's a nice window. Some people can okay. stop, you know, while they're waiting for someone to open the door and look out. You I'm see no someone fall past it. Wearing I've, a business suit. I I figure that it was pretty quick, but what? I recognize. <laughs> I figure it was pretty quick, but do I recognize said person? Um, you can definitely run to the window and look again. <laughs> sure, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Roll. roll. Maybe like half. Yeah, roll okay. perception roll. 14. Okay, so you, you run, you look down, you see the guy, and he's holding onto a ledge. Uh -huh. Like, just below the third floor window. And he's like, Ugh. Hey, hey, give me a hand up. He does not look familiar to you at all. He's okay. wearing, like, it looks like he slept in his suit oh. for days. Mm -hmm. You see all sorts of interesting stains on it. Um, he's, like, he's trying to, like, give me a hand. Help. Is the uh, does, is there a latch on the window to open it? No, no, I mean, you're able to, like, get there and throw the window open and look out, and that's when you see him and oh, you okay. can hear him. I'm you know, sure. Yeah. Uh, sure. Just give me a second. Out and just I mean, you could just lean over and reach down and grab him. Oh, I thought you said he was on the floor below. No, he is on the ledge just below. Oh, okay, gotcha. The window. Okay, okay so yeah, I'll reach out and grab him, pull him up. Okay, uh, roll a strength check, Mr. Strength of 10. Don't roll a four. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <laughs> who are you? So, how do you grab him? Uh, so, I'm just gonna grab him by the, by the collar. jacket. Yeah, collar. Just oh, but like the shirt collar or the jacket collar? Uh, jacket collar. Okay. <laughs> Hi, hello. Hi. This is where comedy comes into okay. play. <laughs> <laughs> so you're able to, and as you do, he's like, ah! And you're like, you see him like sort of hold his <laughs> arms tight against him as you're pulling it up. <laughs> and you, you feel the fabric give a little, but you do manage to get him in uh -huh. before <laughs> anything <laughs> rips or shreds. So, <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Did you see which way he went? Who? The person shooting people. Uh, I'm a cop. You are? Yeah. Credentials. <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. I mean, it's credentials or... David Boyer, New York PD. Excuse me. And he, like, sort of brushes past you and oh, starts running. We did, we did talk uh, about him the, the other episode, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You have to roll a memory check, Mr. Forgetful. Right. <laughs> this is not, uh, <laughs> Ten. Yeah, yeah, the name is familiar. You just can't quite figure out why. I'm going to grab him by the collar again. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've heard of your name before. <coughs> I'm a cop. <coughs> Let go. That doesn't explain why I would hear of your name. <laughs> Put me down or I'll arrest you. Do so you have a brother named Jack? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to arrest... Sorry, I fucking lost my accent. You're going to arrest me? <laughs> You're interfering with an investigation? Someone's getting shot. I mean, you could go over this ledge again. You wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know? Uh, Can you let go of my 
jacket. Do you know any of the party that I'm with by chance? <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Uh, Can you let go of my jacket, please? No. <laughs> when you are when you are a cop. You like got you got struggling at the gun. At the shirt Where's your gun? Button. It fell out the window before I did. I don't believe it. Where's that? Look out the freaking window, pop. We're outside. No, you're inside. You pulled him back into the building. You're on the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> this is a long I'm gonna, four I'm going to lean over, but lean over with him, too. Yeah, no, you, you do see a firearm laying out in the road. It looks like a, there's like some guy walking. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So I'm going to be leaning over and just say, all right, you see, you see, you see truthful? <laughs> Throw him across the room. And uh, I'm going to just check to make sure he doesn't have any handcuffs on. Oh yeah, you find a pair of handcuffs. Okay, well, and I am actually gonna grab those handcuffs, cuff him, and. Okay, so we'll do that next round. Okay. Okay, Amaya. You rolled. You're back on your feet. That one wing is just sort of flapping, and it's it's a hindrance. It's not. Can doing, I pull it back in, or um, is it? You can try. Twelve. Yeah, you're able to, to get it to go back in so it's not out and so now your wings are retracted. Does she seem disappointed? Well, she fell, so Okay, so she didn't you see know, she didn't see you pull your wing back in. Yet. Um but you could guess that she, you know, if she would have seen it, she'd have been disappointed. She wants to play with her toys. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Um I'm going to go with martial arts again. Okay, I, before you do anything else, I need you to roll a perception roll. Sorry, I forgot to, to have you do that. Six. Okay. <laughs> um, you do have object awareness, um, which helps in this scenario, not because there's anything around you, but because you'd be naturally looking for things, and you would see a, a brief shadow pass across the rooftop. Ooh. Oh, shit. Shut You're a dick. As if there's someone flying above you. Or something that you can't hear flying above you, so it must be someone as opposed to a helicopter. Ooh, this will be fun. Or a cloud. Or a cloud. Or an airplane. But it's a little too fast for a cloud or an airplane. Or a bird. Just saying. So I'm probably waiting for an attack. Okay, so you're just gonna to wait? Yep. Perfect. Defensive tactics? Holding. Okay. Holding is in oh. addition to these. Your phone rings while you're pulling the mm -hmm. papers Oi. out. Yeah. Hey, the guy I was chasing, he's gone. I don't know where he went. I, 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 turned, I ran down the uh, hallway, um, fourth floor, and, and he's gone. I don't, I don't know where. I don't, I don't see him. I'm going to go back to the stairwell. Click. <laughs> I'll, I'll text him back and say, he knows how to fly, you idiot. Um... Meanwhile, Jack. Wait a minute. Did I hear anything? <coughs> you skipped me. Oh, sorry, Dustin. <laughs> I know it's skipping people. <laughs> right? Sorry, I was just I forgot that you uh, that you made your roll finally. Okay, so you're 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 bandaged up. No. Yeah. What are you gonna do? He pulls out a sword and goes down the hall after him. Okay. So you pull out your sword, you start running down the hall, you see Bill running towards you, I need you to make an agility roll to see if you miss Bill. Because Bill is not paying attention to where he's running. He's on his. He's looking at his phone because someone just sent him a text. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> kill Bill. Oh. What, what, what did you roll? Thirteen. Okay, yeah. So I mean, you see him. It's like you start running. You see him. He's like. <laughs> you you move to the side as he runs right past you towards the gymnastics. You jump over him as you go and pass. Uh, you probably do dodge around him. You are inside an apartment complex. Forward roll to the top. Okay. <laughs> I don't How think tall you do think six ceilings two. are? I don't think Bill you six two. Mm -hmm. well enough to do that. No, you sort of sidestep okay. and dodge around. That's that's what I'm going to give you. Okay. <laughs> Considering hallways and apartments are usually about eight feet. Yes, but... Yeah, I know. Those are nice apartments. This is true. These are less than nice. So it's about seven feet. Yes. Six Let's just say that, that Bill's head six, is three. really close to the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's texting, keeping his head down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you, you 
sidestep him. What else do you do? Anything else this round? Bill! Well, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I, I chased the guy. He he vanished. I don't know where he went. So I'm going to go back downstairs. Did you look out the window? Why would I look out the window? Did you know he flies? Maybe he can't fly. Maybe he fell. Did you know he fl No, no. See, look. The text says he flies. I grabbed him by the shirt and started dragging him down the hallway. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, so you guys head back down the hallway. Got it. Higher low? Low. Okay. You start dragging him down. That's your world. Um. Okay, so do I hear anything? No. Fantastic. You hear nothing yet. He doesn't hear the protesting? No. But he's outside. In his own little oh. world. He's outside <laughs> on the ground floor. With his hearing? <coughs> you guys are four floors up. There's oh. a lot going on. Unless I hear something important. Um, I will give Amaya an extra perception roll at this point before I get back down to Barnabas and Jonah. You're so kind. It's a nine, I think. Eight or nine. That'd be a nine. Seven. Okay. The five is higher than the three. Oh, that's cocked. You would actually. Oh, that's cocked. That. So you get to reroll it. Okay. Ah, that's six. more six. You're welcome. Okay, yeah, so you don't... Dig. Um, hey, I call them like I see them. You don't notice anything you else. See. You're just preparing. You're sort of keeping an eye out. I can handle that. Um, and uh, you hear a gunshot. And you hear a bullet ricochet. Ooh. Like where you were standing like two seconds before. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're looking around and sort of like being prepped and being defensive and moving around. You hear <laughs> it ricocheted off the roof. Yeah, that's a strong roof. Yeah, or an interesting angle of impact. I mean, it is a terrible building. I mean, so if you if you terrible. are flatter, you can get that's a low wing. Wow. Yeah. Right. On that kind of roof. Yeah, you can get really. I mean, it's it's, it's interesting. CIA is taught to shoot that way. <laughs> of those kinds of roofs? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I can no, neither confirm general. nor deny how the CIA is trained. Were you trained in the CIA? No, I cannot confirm nor deny that I have any It's a basic with CIA, CIA training video <laughs> that you can find online, actually, that tells you to shoot under cars. Anyway, so Barnabas. Yeah. You, you sent him that text. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? I always continue reading through okay. that. The information, waiting for the doors to open. Okay, so the, uh, um, it looks like two dossiers. two dossiers on two specific people. Um, the first one that you opened up said, um, Janet Beaudry on the name. Isn't that? <coughs> and I can't write this down either. Isn't that, uh, one of the, uh, isn't that one of the relatives of, uh, of the, the people in the apartment back in... No. No. It's not. Wait, Janet Beaudry. Yeah! That's, that's the, uh, that's the agent. Yeah. Yes. You, you, start, you start looking through and it looks like it's, um, medical paperwork dealing with psychological evaluations and ongoing notes from a therapist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's, so <laughs> You're That's what you smoke. see in the first one. Do you, do you read through it in depth, or do you just go to the next one? I'll go to the it. next one. The next one says Bill Sender. Uh. And it's also the same sort of thing. With uh, Looks like it's from the same psychologist. Ooh, it's conspiracy. Or therapist. Well, this is a end of violation if I have a, <laughs> if I have a saw one. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I remember that Bill said, no, did, did he ever say that he shared the same psychologist with uh, Jen? Yes, it was a conversation they had in the That I see. She's <laughs> been ratting him out. <laughs> So, while you're doing that, Jonah, 
Congratulations, you just lost the psychiatrist so, your job. So, roll to uh, is there anything the handcuffs to actually, on the guy. Is there anything to oh, actually handcuff Oh, she's been betraying everybody. A doorknob? We don't know that. Not really easily? No, I'll handcuff him. The, the window okay. frame? I mean, you could you could try to force him to like handcuff him in an awkward position. No, I'll handcuff him just his hands. John. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking like, yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's what I was thinking too. But no, I'll just handcuff his hands behind his back. Okay. Uh, 18. Okay, with your strength, <coughs> this is just a raw strength, your strength versus you his strength, strength roll. No, okay. no, no. I'm just letting you know that with your strength versus his strength, you have no problem bending him like Gumby and turning him around and handcuffing him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, what the hell? Oh my God. No, behind his back. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 dang it! No How strong viewers. are you? <laughs> now, viewers, this is <laughs> stupid strong. Um, now I'm gonna also ask you real quick. What is a New York detective doing over in uh, in Atlanta, Georgia? Following a case from New York. York. Yeah. Well, hunting how down, so? Hunting down a fugitive. How Just, so? What the hell? Tell me how. You have the Tell right to remain silent. <laughs> <laughs> now, viewers, this is where, where, where Jonah gets the idea to start carrying zip ties. <laughs> by, all, by all accounts, <laughs> you're the one who needs to start talking. So I'd say you have the right to start talking. <laughs> so, so tell me. Just roll. <laughs> 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 Just roll. Just it's, roll. it's an intimidation check. Just intimidation roll. check. <laughs> uh, Eleven. Uh, fine. Just don't hurt me anymore. <laughs> I'm I'm going after Bill Sender. He's a fugitive from New York. And Bill Sender has a gun. I saw him in the stairwell. He was shooting people. Bill Sender. Yes. That's who I chased. He threw me out the window. The guy who pisses his pants at any sort of interaction with any combat. You really anything. don't know him, do you? He's an Meanwhile. FBI agent. Amaya. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Um, should I roll another perception? Yes. You get another perception. Oh, it's a lot better this time. 15. Okay, so now you look over. Um, you do see... A shadowy figure dun, dun, dun. on the roof. Really hard to, to get a good view. He's wearing dark clothes. He's got dark fur. He's crouched. He's pointing a rifle at you. Okay. <clears throat> he looks exactly like the weird shadowy figure that you've seen in your hindsight attempts in the past. Looks exactly like the guy. So I would probably say I was looking for you and use object realization. Okay. Nope. Five. Okay, so your object realization tells you that there's nothing you can really hide behind because the roof is pretty flat. The only thing is the hatch that she just fell down. <laughs> um, there isn't really, I mean, he is sort of crouched near the near the edge and he's sort of half laying holding the rifle at you and he like stood up as you noticed him and you say you know I've been looking for you and he's like I bet you have <laughs> as he slowly raises the barrel up I could use gymnastics to avoid right yep you could go to another rooftop um, or try to go down the fire escape. Or hang from the ledge. Or I could not run from trouble. Yeah, or you could just stay there and just try to avoid this round. Yeah. Okay. 16. Okay, perfect. Wow, perfect. And since you are the okay. first in the round, are being aggressive or defensive? Defensive. Defensive. Mm -hmm. He has I would the have upper shot hand. him. That's just me. No, she does well, have a gun. I kind of want to question I'm trying to explain them. for the mechanics for the people that, oh, right. that that are watching that don't know the rules that. So, would you explain what it means for the first person in the round to be defensive? What that means for everyone else or whatever? Well, people, this is the dark world role-playing game. 
So the person that goes first in the round has an advantage because they are first. But that is only if they have training in martial arts or uh, weapon master. Or Thank you for, or for explaining training. that because I was about to say that. But <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, if uh, if you want to take over for me, go 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 right ahead there, <laughs> son of a boy. Okay, well since oh, wow, uh, you got butt hurt. I've been uh, having oh, to be well, doing this. Oh well, you know myself. since. Uh, since Trevor, like, didn't take up my offer, <laughs> then, uh, wow. then uh, the person that uh, has that prerequisite and is first in the round has the option to gain an advantage to being either aggressive or defensive. And I forget uh, what exactly the uh, actual uh, advantages mechanically are, but I'm sure that the lovely Christine could uh, <laughs> could explain what those advantages are. Or Trevor could, because he's way more knowledgeable of the system. And he's been trying to get me to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're going to let him You're gonna let him get a word in edgewise? Yes. So Go for it, Trevor. Aggressive tactics would be uh, <laughs> if, you're, if you're trying to make it easier for yourself to hit and deal damage against an opponent uh, at the expense of your own safety, whereas a defensive tactic makes it a little bit harder for you to be swinging and dealing punches or whatever your attacks might be, uh, but it makes it harder for your opponents to hit you as well. More importantly, um, defensive tactics make it so it's impossible to blindside or surprise you in any way, shape, or form, um, whereas aggressive tactics, you are more prone to being blindsided or surprised. Because well, you're, you're going all in, you're focused on your target, you're ignoring other things, whereas defensive, you're looking at everything and making sure that you're not going to get hit. Yes. So I pretty see. much pretty much, uh, Jonah is just aggressive. And then the, the fourth, or the third thing right, that, that Christine had done was holding, where she held all of her actions instead of using them when she might normally be able to move. Um, character may withhold the initiative until the beginning of the next combat round. So what so you that essentially means take two turns. is you can take two turns in one round, essentially, by doing that. Now, holding is not is not only the person with the highest initiative. Anyone can do a holding maneuver if you've been trained to do so. So that would be a military training, martial artist, weapons master, that sort of physical training. Otherwise, you can hold your initiative within the same round, and that's it. Okay. Okay. And if a character that has a lower initiative holds their initiative till the next round, that actually means they get to go first that next round, and again on their initiative the next round. Okay. This educational moment has been brought to you by the World Roleplay Game. Now, um, so you're, you're <laughs> dodging, and you rolled really well for that. Um, uh, man, this is the time when I really wish that I had a camera that wasn't attached to things, you know, like a dice camera, so people could see what I'm rolling. I could just take a look. I mean, shot. yeah. Oh. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing. You see Fantastic. them? You see them too? I do. Yeah. Wait, you can see? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so you start dodging. He's trying to get a bead. He goes, you hear, ka -ching! Oh, crap! And he, like, tosses the gun. <laughs> and he pulls out two more. <laughs> Smaller pistols. That was his turn. Okay, Dustin, you drag Bill Sender <coughs> to the window. To the window. To the wall. Roll a perception roll as you look out the window. Of course, I won't say anything since he's gone. Nine. Okay, you look out. You see some guy down on the street, like holding a gun and looking at it, and go, "Yeah." <laughs> he looks up at you, and he drops it. And he turns and runs. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a homeless guy, like running. He almost gets hit by a car. He sees the cat head sticking out the window. And Bill is like, I told you, he can't, he's not down there. He can fly. See the note? He can fly. Click. What, what Close the phone. It's not a flip phone. I thought it was. No, it's, it's, it's like. It's, Probably. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, he's got a. He's like, I told he's you to can fly, you know. He's got a decent phone. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I mean, it, I'm not going to say any names, but I think it's a pair. 
Mm. You know, um, it's, a, it's a U pair. Yeah, yeah, it's a U pair. Yeah, it's a U pair phone. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, he's like, and then he puts his phone away and he sort of pulls free from you as he stretches his shirt because I had it. What's your, what's your strength? Strength is eight. I had him by the shirt. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> ten, nine, eight. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get a hold of myself. Seven. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Six. Pink <laughs> on the forehead. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I let him go. Okay. Um. Jack, roll perception roll. How can Thirteen. You, how can you okay. see that you're rolling? Okay, so I you can hear, feel the numbers. You hear okay. the screech of brakes. It sort of jolts you back, you know, from your reverie. Reverie. It's like ah! and you hear, "Hey, you stupid more!" And you hear like a conversation. You're like. Oh. <coughs> I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> um, make an intelligence check for me, just real quick. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. You're you're you sort of feel the walls. Okay. You, you remember where you are. You're still against the door. Still against the door. A door. Yeah. There's a door behind you. Yeah. You're good. Something about a door. Something I don't know. I got a nine. Yeah. You, and you're Something holding about it. a door. Something about a door, and you're holding it. Yeah. Um. How far away is the screaming? Oh, it's, it's like probably uh, easily 10 20, yards. 30 feet. Everything okay? You hear the car start up and start driving away. Oh, okay. <coughs> Guess everything's fine. That's the regular fine. flow of traffic yep. you know, starts back up. Okay, yep. meanwhile, Barnabas, you're still in the elevator. You're still flipping through this stuff. Mm -hmm. Are you going to actually look through the stuff or are you just mm. going to allow the privacy stuff to stay private or are you going to pry and invade their privacy? Confidentiality. Deepest, darkest thoughts by reading it on a paper. <laughs> actually, um, since I have Agent Boger's phone number, and Bill sent his phone number. I'm gonna uh, take a picture of the cover pages of both of them, send them to their respective uh, uh, people, and say, "Hey, your psychiatrist is writing you out to to be leal." Nice, Jonah. What do you do? Still talking to uh, David Boyer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna That's take. That's right. That's who he is. I'm going to take you two out of the initiative rounds. That's fine. And we'll wrap up with you guys in a few minutes. Because I have to get back to the more urgent action on the rooftop. And by the way, we are on the ground. I do still have my hands on the cuffs. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure he's not yeah, trying no, to move he's, or anything. Yeah, at but this point, you I'm can just have him sit. You can tell he's given up. Yeah. He's given I'm up. I'm just making sure. Uh, you're avoiding <laughs> the fight. Oh, um, so sad. Your turn. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so... He misfired and then he got grabbed two pistols. Mm -hmm. yep. So now I have two distracted. pistols to contend with. Yep. <coughs> I'm going to. Um, you get you start the turn with an initiative roll. Or uh, not initiative, but a perception roll. 15. Okay. So while you're contending with that and you're moving around and you're, you're making sure that you're ready to bolt, you actually see Dangerous climb back up onto the roof. <laughs> She's. Doing so slower this time. Gee, I wonder why. And, and, and a lot more warily. Like, you see her hands. <laughs> and then she, like, peeks out. <laughs> and she, she climbs up onto the roof. She doesn't hear the so, gunshots. So you, the that would have happened towards the end of last round. I just forgot to mention it. Okay. So, uh, you can always close the hatch on her. Right? <laughs> As a so reminder of how to be brutal. <laughs> I thought we or were supposed to be a hero. It depends on how long you well, want hey, to wait. Well, hey, you know, some heroes are dark. 
And have you ever seen are. Batman? <laughs> oh, no. I'm <laughs> Batman. I was going to say Iron Man also. I'm the Parrot Man. You know, Iron Man? <coughs> Iron Man's dark. You know, he likes to bastard. go and get his mojitos while he's shooting people with laser cannons. I'm just saying. <laughs> or wrist-mounted rockets. Or wrist-mounted rockets. Because, you know, Oh, Iron you Man's know, uh, if we were a superhero group like that, then, you know, the main tank of the group would be involved in the main fight. <laughs> he gets distracted easily, okay? That's an excuse. I know. I'm sorry I'm downstairs. <laughs> but you guys told me to be there. <laughs> That's an excuse. Ryan. Okay. Squirrel. So, your initiative turn. You've got two people on the roof to contend with. What do you do? Um, can I tumble and try to knock the pistols out of his hand? Yeah, you could definitely try to disarm him. Ten? She did hold a gun, didn't she? Essentially, I mean, she no, was being defensive. No, her last round, she, she, she did her, uh, her uh, uh, an avoid for Action? the whole turn. Okay. So that was her, her attack last round was actually avoiding. Okay. Um, so this round, ten, actually you do sweep the pistols out of his hand. So you come up to a cool, like, tumbling kick thing and you knock his pistols out and he goes what? Uh, she has the avoid sub skill. Yes, that means That's that what it I allowed used last her time. to avoid. Correct, but she can also use that tactic of avoiding. Well, which means Trevor, it only uses that was the last round. Movement. It has yes, been and yes. done and you are interrupting the flow of the current um, round. Okay. So you're able to, to sweep his pistols out. He's like ah. you can see his fangs and Claws pop out. You do get another attack. What do you want to do? This is where we see how many guns he actually carries. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I kick him off the roof? Not you that it'll make much of a difference. You can certainly try. Okay, Reaper. Uh, 13 or better. He flies. Oh, seven. Okay, so you go to kick him. He just sort of sidesteps your foot and tries to rake your leg with his claws. But it's almost like you anticipated that, so you did like a really quick kick, <laughs> and you brought your leg back before he could put his claws on them. Cool. <clears throat> <sighs> Meanwhile, from across the roof, dangerous. And what's your agility? It's a seven. I thought I went for dangerous. Mm -hmm. I thought I went for her. Yeah, I'll get Close to enough. you. You're, you're with Bill. Just let me do this and then I'll get back to you because it's going to take you longer than four seconds to get to the roof. She does have her martial arts. Yes, I know. Okay. I'm just saying because she tried to skip me last time. Yes, I know because you're so skip. Oh, yeah. Ask the nuts, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, your martial arts is a 10, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You take a health as you feel electricity course through your whole body. Ouch. And something tagged you right in the center of your back. Just really quick. That's dirty. Just cool. hit you just for a brief moment and the electricity sort of seizes your muscles. I need you to make a will roll to see if you are able to be in control of your body. That's dirty. Cool. 16? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, okay, whatever. You're able to easily work through this. This was... You know, back when you were a kid, your mom and you were doing sparring, learning all the ways of the assassins, and this was like, oh, come on, really? She tased me. Electrical play. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought maybe uh, Dangerous had a Bing's lightning gun. No, 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 that'd be nice. That'd be nice, but no, no. Or a horn of lightning. And you see her standing horn there. Model. I mean, out of the corner of your eye, after you get tased, you sort of like look back at her, and you see her standing there. Her. Uh, Outfit is bloodied. You actually see, looks like her neck got cut when you slammed her down pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> you see some blood coming down, and she's she rips away her shirt to reveal more of the dragon tattoo. And you see electricity arcing up the tattoo. Oh, wow. oh, <laughs> so this oh, is, you're evil. <laughs> this is the part where we become PG 13, folks. <laughs> We're chasing the R fast. <laughs> and mama. meanwhile. Hey, Red and Mama. Meanwhile, Dustin. <laughs> you and Bill. 
I, I let him go, so I'm heading back down the hall towards the fire. Okay, yeah, so you uh, and him are running down the hall. He gets in. I don't see him. I don't see him anywhere. I'm going up. You go down. I'm and going he up. he runs towards the... Towards the... Uh, or he starts to run towards I'm the end of the thing. Hot on his heels. Hey, I said you go. Okay, fine. I'll go down. <laughs> 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 and he stops. He goes the other way. Um, so you go and you I have see a running the, the nine, rungs. So. Yeah, you see the rungs. You climb up. I need your roll perception roll. Uh, I need you to roll perception roll, Amaya. I need the bad guys to roll perception roll. Fourteen. <coughs> oh yeah. Uh, okay. Twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. So you come up. The hatch is open. You come flying out. You see a lady from the back. She's holding like part of her sh- her. Bodysuit open, you see electricity crackling up her skin, long auburn hair flowing. You see. I thought she was blonde. No, she was auburn. Huh. Um, you see. And even if she was, she's auburn now. Um, <laughs> you see uh, Amaya nah. locked in right. contact with a lupin, or locked into a fight with a lupinoid on the far corner, um, the side facing the street. <laughs> now, does the lupinoid have wings? Not that are visible at this point. Uh, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. Um, the lupinoid sort of sees you. You can tell he sees you. Um, you can tell. Um, would you roll for perception? Sixteen. Yeah, you can tell Amaya knows exactly where you're at just because you know just darting of eyes, and you see the lady sort of look over her shoulder. Oh, sh- and you see a, a wicked grin start playing across her face. Oh, shit. You see a spark of electricity in her eyes as they turn like this electric blue. Gymnastics? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just uh, that was just it. And that's, agility. That's your, that's, your, yeah. that's your turn. So next turn you'll actually be involved in the play. Yeah. Yes. Well, now that my uh, master plan is complete, I'll blow up the building. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, and actually, I was about to say, Trevor, what does your character do? Well, I blow up the building. No. Um, With what? <laughs> any, anything else oh, that I know that's going on? Well, I can roll if you need. You can, you can roll a perception roll. Right. He pulls out a blue and starts blowing uh, Double eight. Followed by an 11. So. 27. Um, so. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, um, you do notice, you know, a rifle hit the ground <laughs> a little bit away from you. <laughs> hey, where the fuck did that come from? It's like, <laughs> can I hear an angle of impact? Oh yeah, it's it's like dead in front of you, like about two feet. Is it like moving in a direction? No, no, it just sort of hit the ground. So it just kind of fell from the sky. Fell from the sky, yeah, straight down. Yeah. Didn't even bounce. Damn, that's a heavy rifle. Don't. It's a sniper rifle. How heavy is it? You gonna pick it up? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, yeah, it's 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 pretty weighty. You know, it's huh. a good, you know, twenty pounds ish. Damn. Give or take. Oh, well, that's very unwieldy. Especially with its uh, with its adapted magazine. Oh, Touching okay. it, what can I feel? Um, it's hot. Can I tell anything else about it? Nope. It's hot. <coughs> it's hot to the touch. It's very hot. <laughs> well, I will... Uh, not, not burning yet, but it's like, ooh, ooh that's, that's warm. Well, it's, I've got hand wraps. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, your fingers don't. <laughs> that's true. Um, you smell the, the scent of the burning flesh? No, no, it's, it's not that hot. It's just, it's like, wow. Even, like, the hand grip... Would, would I be able to tell if it's a bolt action? Uh, it's modified. Um, and does your character have any sort of... Absolutely not. Nope, no clue. Huh. I mean, you probably know some people that might be able to tell you. Oh, we're definitely <coughs> putting it, it barreled okay. down. How? Well, we're standing it up, barrel down. Oh, okay, okay. As opposed to barrel up. High or low? Uh, high. <laughs> How gently are you putting it barrel down? Well, I assume it's like any good walking stick. Okay, so you... Oh, shit. So as you smack it, it explodes. 
because the round that misfed. Uh huh. Cooked. Cooked. And it goes off. Uh, what is your health? Uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that's a good question. Did I, did I take damage last game? No. 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 Then we're at five. Okay. That's that's good. You take two. <clears throat> oh. As it rips across your midsection. That's weird. <coughs> and you actually feel Laterally the gun sort or of cave. Through me. Uh, laterally. It rips across, not not through your midsection. I would have said through your midsection. Sort of like the shrapnel from the barrel exploding. barrel exploding, sort of like boom. How much health did you take? Two. Two. Ooh. It's enough to like knock out a normal person. Right. Yeah. Thankfully none of us are normal. Right. <laughs> oh, good thing I was wearing my lucky vest today. <laughs> Well, that's during the operative term. And at this point, we are going to take a short break. So please bear with us while we uh, take a quick break. And then I blow up the building. And uh, <laughs> we will see you in just a few minutes.
And welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with us while we uh, while we took a little bit of air and uh, saw to the things that were needful. Not. Um, that being said, let's get back to the initiative round. So, Amaya. As she's turning deep red, you get to start us out on the round. Okay. Um, so, I have two, opponent, two opponents? You have two opponents and you see Dustin on the roof. You have two so opponents and So, you have and two an opponents and an ally. And you are close enough to be in hand-to-hand -hand with Silhouette. Silhouette. And just happen to be going just slightly ahead of him. I'm going to see if I can tackle the furry guy. Okay. Which furry guy? <laughs> the one she's you. fighting. Hey. <laughs> uh, no. About what? time Justin gets some action. So you need an eight or better. I got a twelve. Okay. So you just like body slam pinning him to the ground sort of thing? Yeah. Or tackle off the roof. Or tackle off the roof. Which one? <coughs> pinning to the ground? Whichever one works better. Well it's it's Or up you to prefer. You. you know your wings aren't gonna work that well. So So I'm probably not going to risk falling off. Okay. It's only four stories. <laughs> it's only four stories. So on the roof, I'd be 50 feet into traffic. There's a there's a walkway. Just thinking of angles and force. <laughs> <laughs> and vectors. Sorry for you know all you physics buffs out there. And I got you. Um, 40 feet can be straight down. Okay, so yeah, you actually do pin him onto the ground. You, you tackle him, pin him onto the ground. Um, so on his turn, he'll try to break free, which is his turn now. <laughs> What's his agility? High enough. Don't worry about it. Nosy man. So you, uh, you, you pin him down. As you do, he, he falls backwards. You've got his arms down. He brings his leg up tries to kick you to the side and so you're now like struggling to keep him down and it's basically your martial arts rank versus his strength and you guys are sort of locked in a struggle of dominance well you have him up in the mount dustin so i saw her eyes sparkle correct yes and you you also at this moment you see amaya launch herself at Silhouette, or who you're guessing is Silhouette, pins him to the ground, and he starts to flip her over, and they're in the middle of struggling for freedom or fighting or killing. It's really hard to tell at this point what's happening over there, uh, because you have dangerous between you and them. Okay, so Weapons Master 11, mm -hmm. and he throws his knife at her, his throwing knife. Okay. He has sword out. Yeah, he has also got... So right with, with your other hand... The, the weaker arm you're going to try to throw your No, he's dropping the sword. So okay, up. okay, you didn't say that. Okay, drop the okay. sword. Okay. Nine or better. Eleven. Okay, so you, you drop your sword, you throw it. Her grin, you know, she's smiling. She turns in, in a, an amazing feet of dexterity, she lets go of her shirt, oh, grabs the dagger, shit. flips it back, you see electricity spark from her hand as it comes flying right back at you. What is your agility? My agility is a uh, nine. Total physical? Five? Two. Two? No, no, you always defend at your oh, max. Total physical is six. Six. My health is a two. You take a health, and I need you to make a will roll to see if you are... Uh, falling down the stairs? Falling down. No, no, just falling down. You're, you're able to get out all the way, so you're not going to fall back down. But see if you collapse under the teaser effect. Okay, so it, it embeds the same spot you got shot. God damn it! <laughs> the fog is still it's in like, me, too. Like she aimed right for that spot. And you feel it, the <coughs> electricity discharges. like... Yeah! Your, your own dagger is sticking out. And she goes, 
Oh, this is going to be fun. Not as much as fun playing with her. But, you know. And you see her get into a, a martial arts stance that you've never seen before in your life. At this point, you can Have see the, the dragon tattoo. And you can see the electricity just arcing up the dragon tattoo from under her clothes. And so does her dragon tattoo grow when she... No, no, it just goes all... Her dragon tattoo curls up her face, like the tail of the dragon is coming up here. You can tell it's an dragon? oriental dragon of some sort. Oh! <laughs> oh, you're dirty. Pose. You're dirty. <laughs> and that's what you see. Hey, Trevor. What are those? Meanwhile. Hard candies? They're Jolly, Jolly Ranchers. May I have one, please? Dude, I got chocolate. No, I Meanwhile, Quasi, um, you shared with me outside what you were going to do. Yeah. You sent the, the pictures to them. You can quickly take <laughs> uh, pictures with your cell phone of the file pages <laughs> while you're on your ascent to the top I floor. I must still. Uh, oh, hand down. Um, you'll be next. Yeah, the next time I get done with them, you'll be leaving the elevator. Oh, excellent. Uh, so I actually want to change my action from what I said earlier, which was just chatting with him. I'm still going to be chatting with him, but I decided that I am going to be bringing him down the stairs down to Jack. Okay. Forcefully bringing him down the stairs. <laughs> yes. I mean, he's not going to go willingly. <laughs> um, so as you get closer to the stairs, he does sort of try to struggle more, but. So I'm going to hold on to his his uh, handcuffs and then grab him again by the cuff of the shirt. And just be like, yeah, no. I ineffectively, because <laughs> you know, he rolled a three to try to... <laughs> oh, jeez. But no, as to I said... Try to I'm struggle against your bad strength. I'm still going to do that action, though. Just, <laughs> yeah. no. <laughs> but the bodies... Um, crime scene must not mess the crime scene up. I mean, you're not going anywhere. I'm just saying. Meanwhile... <laughs> Outside, you had the gun explode on you. I did. What do you do? He falls down. <laughs> well, I'm sure my ears are ringing. Ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ears are ringing. You know, doing the, the listening to things carefully as something explodes. I feel like your innards are falling too. You know, you're awesome. you're you're not feeling the best. <laughs> your head is hurting. Your ears are ringing. Your stomach does not feel good. <laughs> There's shrapnel sticking out of you. Oh. There's blood. <clears throat> Well, that's different. <laughs> Traffic is still driving by just fine? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's like people are ignoring what's happening to you with the explosion. Yeah. Or they just don't see it. There's nobody, like, stopped just due to a red light? Uh, no, not right at this moment. Nobody driving a little faster than you. We just <laughs> finished. <laughs> we or just finished. Down the street. But, but there was just, like, this huge thing of people going crazy and... That's true. And so, I mean, we're still sort of in that That aspect. dazed. People are still sort of recovering themselves as well as figuring out what the hell happened. And so there's all sorts of chaos and pandemonium going on. What's another explosion amongst that? Is you know? there any passers-by? Uh, high or low? Hi. Absolutely none. Oh, oh. Couldn't have rolled blue if I tried. One. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't have any medical training, so, um... Hey, make an intelligence roll. Or a memory check. Memory check. Seventeen. Hey, you do remember that the that the preacher man is a healer. But something about a door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a door and there's a preacher man that heals. Maybe through the door. Maybe, but I don't have any way of contacting him. So I'll just wait here, I guess. Okay. And bleed out. Okay. <clears throat> Meanwhile, back up on the roof. Amaya, you still have him sort of pinned. He's thrashing, trying to get out. What do you do? I could try a different tactic. Okay. A faint like he's going to get out. But then try to get him in a chokehold. Okay. So you're going to like let him squirm enough to where you can mm -hmm. wrap the chokehold around him? Okay. Go ahead and roll. 11. So you, you let him up a little bit, and, uh, and you're starting to get the, your arm positioned for the chokehold. And that seems to be about as much room as he needed as he finishes his, his weird flailing throw thing. And you go... 
Over the side? Over the side. Oh, okay. And off the edge. <laughs> so, can you fly, motherfucker? On your next turn, you'll get to make an agility check to see if you can grab a hold of the ledge on your way past it. <laughs> time to go back? <laughs> it's almost like it's a rerun. <laughs> what happened inside? But this time, it's outside. It's an unsuspecting jack at the bottom of the drop. <laughs> Frank okay. Madalin, and you should have just a, need him in the nuts. Now you're going to get an angel falling on you. I just keep him in face and shot him. Dustin. Rip what mm-hmm. free arm. Um, Could be worse. Mm-hmm. So what worse things fall on me. He just dropped straight down, or did he fall backwards, or what? Who? Dustin. What? You sort of staggered backwards, and the electricity hit you. You didn't quite hit the ground. That's what your okay. will roll was for. You're able to, to sort of shrug off the electrical discharge. Which is impressive because it has it's like a taser, literally the effect. What do you mean, like a taser? It's it's taser like. <laughs> it was a taser. Well, I'm just saying that the effect of the yeah. electricity, not just the dagger yeah. hitting you. So the fact so. you're able to shrug that off is very impressive. I know it's going to cause a will save. Yep. You pull the dagger pulls back it out. Roll. Not injure yourself and kill yourself. <laughs> At least it's not an arrow being pulled up the wrong way. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, yeah, you you brace for it, you pull it out, you've got the dagger, blood is starting to come, you're you're okay, just that left arm, you know, it's like you're losing feeling in it at this point. (laughs) Kind of tingly. (laughs) (laughs) No, (laughs) it's past the tingly (laughs) stage. Tingly was, was right after you started bandaging it up, now it's like you really... You're moving your fingers, and you see you're moving your fingers, but you don't really feel it. <laughs> Only he can do with this much damage. Just take cover. Okay, uh, there behind is what? No, behind the oh, the lid. Okay, so you see, <laughs> prop up the lid, use it like a shield. Okay, um, as you're doing that, this is gonna hurt. A do lot. you have a gymnastics? Yes, I do. Okay, gymnastics nine. You're kidding me. 12 plus 6 plus 5. 23. Thank you. Did we just lose our archer? So, so you're ducking behind the metal lid as you see her sort of like do a forward roll and you feel her touch the lid from the other side as you're ducking behind it. And the whole thing just lights up with electricity and you go out. The <laughs> Everything goes I think fine. you got to do a cat howl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reminded of that uh, that cat from Opus, the really frizzy cat. Bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, Bill. Bill's an accountant. So am, am I changing <laughs> my name to Schrodinger now? Um. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's gonna look on the other side of the lid. <laughs> Is he alive or dead? Who knows? I'll look. <laughs> All right. Okay. So is there a smell of burnt fur coming up? Well, th- thankfully no one has heightened sense of smell in your group. Well, you're unconscious, so you don't know what it smells like. <laughs> I, 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 feel like I, I feel like that's a pretty pretty significant smell that anybody would be able to pinpoint. Uh, they're outside. There's a decent wind. Well, I definitely you know. don't have heightened vision. <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay. As far as you know, um, you come, you get to the top floor. But your sense of smell when you don't take a shower. Must be a staircase. Yeah. So the elevator opens up. You come out. You do see a landing for the staircase. You hear s- the sound of someone going down the stairs. Uh, he hasn't made it very far. You hear. Mm-hmm. I will not throw up. I will not <laughs> throw up. Mm. I'll go to the stairs and head out. Mm. Oh, hi. Is it Bill? He's like halfway down the stairs. Yeah, it's yes. Bill. Bill looks at you. Hi. I was coming down. Right. You know what, um, John? Dustin went up. And then him. <laughs> John. Yeah. I'm going to do something to Bill. What are you going to do to Bill? 
kill him. Nobody else has done. I'm going to use Alter Emotion. Okay. <clears throat> you I'm going to make Bill send her for the very first time, apparently, courageous. Okay. Roll. I mean, it, yeah. Double one. You didn't know what happened before, so. <laughs> Roll double ten. That's an eight. What is your rank? Nine. Bill Senda. Okay. No sender, brave. I thought I'd never see it. So I was, I was, I was, I was going to go downstairs to see if I could head him off. The the guy went out the window. You're right. I think he flies. All we saw when we looked out the window was a bum with a gun, and the bum dropped the gun and ran. I think they're on the roof. Yeah, I was going to go down to let you guys know, but it looks like you're here. Do you want me to go get Jack? Do so quickly. Okay, I'll be right back. And he. Continues down the stairs. A little bit more spring in this stuff. A little bit. Oh, but let's vomit in his mouth. And poo in his pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have seen a first. <laughs> I mean, he hadn't soiled himself yet. He had just barely made his role not to puke. So, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> it was coming. <laughs> there, but, was, um, there was a struggle. How far do I, I get? Yellow this time. <laughs> what? You could actually go over and get to the uh, ladder. To the ladder. Next round, you can climb the ladder and be on the roof. Do I have any extra uh, actions? Uh, you could run to the ladder as opposed to walk, at which point you could get up the ladder this round. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. So you do a run to the ladder. You start climbing up it. So at the beginning of the round, next mm -hmm. round, I will tell you everything that's happening. Of course. Um, you do get a perception roll, though, as you're starting, as you get to the base of the ladder before you start climbing it. I feel this is very important. Does he hear it? <laughs> <laughs> that'd mean uh, that'd that. mean eight. Eight? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the hatch is open. The yeah. hatch is open. That's Correct. why. I, that's why I'm and saying the metal room around it is, is open. And it is a metal ladder. <laughs> and it is a metal ladder, as I stated a couple times. <laughs> Important things to note. Um, meanwhile. So we didn't hear. It. Right, <laughs> but you do touch the ladder and you don't get like electrocuted or anything like that, which is a positive as you climb the ladder. Okay. Is the hair on his knuckles rising a little bit? No, oh, he, <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so um, that was the end of the round because you are taking him down the stairs. You would actually run into Bill as Bill's on his way down. He goes, "Oh, good. Um, send Jack up. The fight's on the ceiling." On the ceiling. I mean roof. The fight's on the roof. I'm going. And I'm just going to say to David, well, maybe you were right. Hey, Bill, am I just taking him down real quick? He goes, ah, what the hell? No. Yeah, yeah. I, bye. And he goes running. He goes, hey, that's the guy. Yeah, no. He's, he's one shooting people. I did not. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought, I thought it was Bill saying, no. saying that. No, to no, him. no, 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 no. The, he yells, that's the guy. He was shooting people. And Bill's like, I did not. He was. Oh, wait, that's him. As he gets like 12 steps off. That's him. Knock him out. Then come up to the ceiling. I mean roof. As he then goes back running up the stairs. Mm. <laughs> so, question? Are you getting electrocuted? Does that singe the wound close? I am not going to tell you because you're unconscious. Damn. <laughs> so I'm, I am just going to turn to David and just say, so you sure you don't have any other guns on you? <laughs> Keep in mind, I still have my hand on his, I on know. his yeah, he's like, and he's my like, other hand on he his He just looks at you and glares. <laughs> Who's your John? Well, you know Jonah. <laughs> he might have uh, shoved one up his bum. Probably, probably. He just looks you have at you to reach glares. in deep to get it. What are you going to do? Well, so I'm just going to say, so <laughs> give me a reason not to just slam your head on this rail over here and just bring you downstairs a lump. <laughs> lump. Not lump. Lump. <laughs> Police officer. Uh huh. NYPD police officer, if I remember correctly. I know my memory's shit. A cop from the top. I'm running NYPD. Accusing someone of doing something. I know. You've I know for a fact. You've already assaulted an officer. What else are you gonna do? How did I assault you? I put I put handcuffs on you. I lawfully detained you as a as a as a citizen. Unlawfully detained me. No, I lawfully detained you. Suspicious you have the right activity. to remain silent. 
<laughs> you could just drop him down the stairwell. Right? I could. But I was also just saying, I'm just going to slam your head into so, this so fucking what, right here. What are you going to do at this point? <laughs> you going to keep talking to him, or are you going to knock him out? What are you going to do? Uh, I'll knock him out. Okay. Roll. Bounce his head off the wall. No, on the railing, as I'm saying. <laughs> uh, 12. Oh, at least he's yeah. consistent. <laughs> he goes unconscious. Okay. Good night, princess. Now, I'm just going to throw him over my shoulder, and then just walk him downstairs. <laughs> okay. You're going to walk, or you're going to run? You look like... Well, I'm on the stairs. I'm not gonna run. You could run down. <laughs> with run with down a body on my shoulder? No. Yeah, you can. I'm not, I'm not that dumb. Okay. With your strength, I'm, you can. I'm, I'm the kind of dumb that would pull an arrow out of his hand, but I'm not the dumb that would kind of run downstairs Bloody with a body stairs. on my shoulder. Bloody on shoulder. Okay. Safety first, John. Fair enough. Fair enough. So okay. He's casually walking down the stairs with a body on with a body on the shoulder. Yeah. That's okay. handcuffed as well. Keep that in mind. Okay. So top of the round, Amaya. Agility check. Make an agility check to see if you can grab a hold of anything to stop you from falling. Eleven. You're, uh, you have gymnastics, right? Gymnastics yes. nine? Six. Six. I'm the one with the nine. What is your agility? Seven. Seven, okay. Yeah, you can, you barely, you, you don't catch the lip of the building, but you do catch uh, a pole sticking out of the front of the building. Looks like a flagpole or something. There's no flag on it right now, but you are able to grab that on your way past. Oh, I hope she doesn't know about that. Um, <laughs> and you've got it. Miss Electricity. Mm. <laughs> so you are able to stop yourself from falling too far. You're about halfway between the roof and the fourth floor windows. So you're just below the, the lip of it. So she's about three feet down? Yeah, about four, four and a half feet. Oh. So I could try to climb back up? Yeah, you can climb back up as your movement. And then you'd get an attack if you want to attack him. I'm surprised. You mean pull out my supply. Okay. Okay. No, supplies. Try to <laughs> injure him but not kill him. Right. Sneakily injure him, or like you like just putting it up over the top barely and shooting. Or are you going to climb all the way up onto the roof and shoot at him? Would I even be able to climb back on? Um, I mean, how tall it is seemed like it was farther away. She's as tall as me, five one. Five one. Yeah, I mean, so you are with your character's balance. You can balance on the pole. It's only about four feet down, so a foot of you, if you were standing straight up, would be viewable on the edge of the on the edge of the ledge, if you will. I'm going to stay where I am and shoot at him. Okay. So roll two hits. You need a nine or better. Fourteen. That is better. And what is the AR on your pistol? Did I? I did not get. You that asked to me you. that last time, and he I had to it. look it up. I got it. You you uh you graze. Uh, where you say you're trying to incapacitate him, not kill him. So are you shooting for his knee, or are you shooting center mass towards a non-vital area? His knee. Okay. Um, so you graze his knee. Um, I down four. Yeah. He does not. He doesn't fall from it. He's like ah. He turns and looks at you. Gets an evil grin. You know, doggish, wolfish grin on his face. Doggish and he jumps wolfish. right at you. Like he's going to try to knock you off your perch. Twelve, do I hear the gunshot? Yes. Like from directly above You me? do hear a gunshot from directly above you. And you look up and don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> 16 plus, ouch, 18. Nice knowing you. Yeah. To be fair, plus. he's also coming down here. 16 plus 18 plus 13. Holy crap, that's the highest anyone's ever rolled. Any numbers? Uh, hmm. uh, 16, 18, 13. 34, 40, 47. 47. Yeah, 47. We rolled higher than that. Wait, Christine? 
Not late. Yeah, John. Yeah. Remember, um, was it the first? I think it was the first game we ever played uh, back in the Bayou. We did. Uh, the Bayou. Hit, uh, we did hit a. What sixty it? something. Sixty something. Yeah. It wasn't quite sixty nine. I was disappointed. It was. Uh, <laughs> was it? Was it the uh, the blessing the rains down in uh, Cambodia? How no, many? No. The blessing no. the rains in Cambodia was huh? like a seventy three. Oh, okay, guys. How much Sorry. health? I only have four left. Okay. Out of six. Out of six. Thank you. <clears throat> um, he hits you hard enough that you black out. And fall, most likely. Yes. Yeah, you're, you're blacking out and plummeting. To your tomb. Should I mark out all yeah. of my health? Yeah. At this point, you're at zero. He wasn't ga- you know, using his claws on you. It wasn't a lethal attack. Other than you're plummeting, that's the lethal part. The, the damage he actually was trying to make sure he hit you, so he put his arms out like this and hit you right across your face or your neck area. So it's but not, still the not trying to kill closer, you. It's a sudden stop at the end? Yeah, pretty much. And you plummet. Um, and you don't see that because you're unconscious, unconscious. and you don't see that because you're blind, <laughs> and you don't see that because you're not quite there yet. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> However, a body in free fall does make sound. Yes. So you, you will have a chance... Potentially, I'm not sure how to try to catch her as a blind man. <laughs> Heads or tails? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, um, dangerous is turn. Okay. Hold on. It's Jack's turn. Roll a perception roll to see if you hear the body falling. Eight. Give it to him. And, uh, his ears are ringing from the True. from the explosion. Um, you do not this round. It's not. She's not going to hit the ground in four seconds. No, 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 no. She's, there's no way she's hitting terminal velocity yet. Yeah, yeah. So this round, you, you don't quite hear her. Um, next round, you're going to get down there to talk to him, so you might be able to see her falling. And I might also see him collapse on the ground because he's either shot or because he got a body bomb. So, <laughs> one of the two. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> they they the hit the ground? <laughs> what? When Christine's fall. fall, do they bounce the hit the Well, it's Amaya's that we're talking about. I know. And then we don't know. We'll find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, what do you call him? Christian. I said Christine's. Oh, I heard Christian. Okay, so no exactly. this table. Actually, you you get up there. I need you mm-hmm. to roll a perception roll as you get to the top. You can always blast me. Jack's a Catholic. That'd be twenty-one. Okay, so the first thing, the distinct smell of burnt fur, <laughs> fills your nostrils as you as you pull yourself up. He might smell burnt flesh as well because no, of... No, just, just burnt fur. His vagina. Let yeah, the DM be the, the DM. The distinct smell of burnt fur fills mm-hmm. your nostrils. It's overpowering. Mm-hmm. As you come up and you look around, you see the feet of Dustin sticking out from the other side of the open hatch. You glance around and you see a couple discarded pistols on the roof. Mm-hmm. You see a sword laying on the ground. You see, it looks like a, a skirmish because all of the, the rooftop, I didn't describe this earlier, is tar with uh, gravel on it. And so you do see like what looks like a fight area that had happened on the far side. And you also see a flying felonoid flying off holding... Felonoid? Da- or sorry, lupinoid. A flying lupinoid holding danger, uh, lady's hand. <laughs> and they're flying up and off. They're, yeah, about a, they're about good 40, 40 yards up. <coughs> well, that's uh, something you don't see of the day. Mm. What you don't see is any sign of Amaya. <laughs> and you don't see... Yeah, that's it. You don't see any sign of Amaya. Uh. Well, um, I pull myself out of the hatch. Um, you know what? I have my phone out anyways. Take a video of them flying away. Okay. Are just you, to, are just you just gonna stand there or are you gonna do something while you're taking the video? Oh well 
You know what? Lord Jesus Christ, please have mercy on this soulless, unworthy, flea <laughs> bitten Okay, roll. Now you more hurt. <laughs> I had a question, but I'm not going to change your decision on what you're doing. Hmm? Oh, I, had a, I was going to say I had a question about uh, something, but I didn't want to change your decision-making process. Oh, fine. Well. They might have been close enough for you to alter their emotions. I know, but uh, what would I what would I do? I, I could I could make them angry and come at me, but or depressed. Depressed, they'd just go away anyway. Maybe. Not if you made them depressed enough. You know what? <laughs> anyway, uh, what did you roll on your healing? I rolled an eight. An eight. Okay. Um, My healing is a nine. And how much damage have you sustained, Mr. Over There Unconscious Man? Zero. What is your health? I am down to zero. What health did you normally have? Six. Thank you. That's how much damage you took, is a total of six. You rolled an eight? Mm Mm-hmm. Exactly what you needed to roll to have any sort of effect. You get two health back. Sweet. So you wake up, you're hurt all over. Your left arm's still not feeling the best. Every joint in my body hurts. Yeah, everything is. You're not. You're not happy. Um, no. <laughs> John. There's certain things that don't happen. Yeah. He's feeling for his medallion. No, yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's it's kind of fused. It's there. It's stuck in. It's melted to him. I wouldn't say that. It's more like burnt skin, hot metal, branded. So I have to worry about losing it for a while. Exactly. <laughs> Especially since your skin's healing over it. Anyway. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So that was that. You get to the ground floor. Right. Perception roll to see if... Yep. Roll a perception roll I to hear see what you notice. Or see someone falling. Yeah. I probably would have Roll ears. perception. Just roll. <laughs> With my previous roll, would I know that somebody's approaching from inside? Um, you get to new perception. Eleven. <laughs> There's get a lot of things you. to weigh in. <laughs> um, yeah, so you'd hear the door opening from the inside. Fantastic, I'll kick it shut. So as you're coming out, you see Jack, he turns around, kicks the door shut as you're opening it. Um, and as that happens, you see a shadow getting bigger on the ground about where Jack was standing. I'm just going to yell out, Jack! And then... And then what? It. Well, he closes it. So okay, well, I mean, you could try to stop it. Yeah, I'm going to try to open it okay, again. Okay, roll to stop it. Well, not stop it. I it mean, does, it does slam. I didn't think I mean, he could kick it. You could put your hand out. You are strong enough to stop know, the door. I know, but I didn't think he was going to try to slam it on me. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was holding it. I door know, shut. I know. <laughs> Three. Okay. So I don't know. So, so <laughs> good I'm news, bad news. <laughs> good news, bad news. You put your hand out to stop the door. Mm-hmm. You miss the hand bar. You put your hand through the glass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is his shoulder out there too? I mean, your hand is now sticking through the. No, I know, but is his shoulder? Because I'm guessing it's a window that lead. It's, 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 a, it's a little. It's a little window in the door that you can look outside. Yes. Can I see his shoulder from? You can window? see him. Yeah. Okay. His I'm whole just, body. I'm just gonna grab him and say, "Hey, motherfucker." Open the door. <laughs> Roll, uh, that would be next turn. So, so this ground, you grab it. You, your hand goes through. You uh-huh. can say, "Hey, open the door." Okay. But you, you he's not in range gotcha. of grabbing. He okay. kicked it. Yeah. So he's not right there at the door. Okay. I mean, his back was on the door. Yeah, but then he moved. Yeah. He picked up the gun. It exploded on him. Okay. He's standing away. So he came back. He just kicked the door. So he's about shut. two feet from the door now. You know, he isn't quite there, but he's there. But you know, within. I'm within, within guarding distance of the door. His hand went through the safety glass with the wire mesh in it? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Dude, 10 strength. That's all I got to say. <laughs> now pulling it back out is another matter. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so you hear him oh. say that, just to let you know. Uh, oh, my bad. Sorry, man. New initiative round. Maya is plummeting. They're getting away. Just working down through. Dustin. You wake up. <laughs> you wake up, you see him, you get a perception roll. To see what you don't see. Nine? Yeah, so you see him, you don't see Amaya anywhere. 
that's well since he's behind the door I mean you, you probably sat up you know you, he's still laying down okay you're laying down okay so from your area you, you barely see him he's just barely sitting up okay in so much pain when you sit up you see him sit up he's like Argh! and he's sort of like as he sits up he sort of glances past the hatch you don't see Amaya anywhere Where's the man? Don't know, but uh, the flying dog and uh, and what's a bucket are flying off that way. Slow and dangerous. He can't find his bow. <laughs> <laughs> See him moving his left hand, just like flapping. <laughs> oh, son of a boy, are you still are you still hurt? Air smoke is coming out of his ears. <laughs> About now, Bill Sanders coming out. Hey, where's Maya? Don't know, but uh, they're getting away. He goes running. Really? He goes running towards the edge. Oh, crap! Hey, she's falling! <laughs> Eight. <laughs> you hear, hey, she's falling! Splat. And you see Bill, who is now courageous, jump off the building. Whoa. Super courageous. <laughs> somebody. Stupid. Somebody courageous. made <laughs> him <laughs> courageous. He's Sorry, Rafa. <laughs> so well, now one help, right? No. <laughs> so not just one person to save, but two people to save. Um, actually, I, I rolled um, double nines. Nice. Plus a seventeen for him to somehow catch and save her. Okay, so one person to catch. So he's pulling the Superman. Stash two. Um, so I'm just I'm looking at his character sheet trying to figure out how the crap he would do this. <laughs> I'm crying. Give me a second. The smoke is coming. He pooed, he pooed his pants, which made him no, go a little faster. No, it's already faster. here. Okay, so you guys would see him dive off the building. That's what you guys would see. Oh. So you guys go over to the side. Mm. He's still trying to get up. Actually, uh, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll continue. Okay, so you're gonna just stay where you are and heal him. Okay, mm -hmm. so you guys don't see what happens. Oh, man. You got <laughs> something really good prepared, didn't you? He's got sunflower seeds. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows how to use them. <laughs> Has he just been uh, carrying them uh, the whole time? Yes. Every time, I, every time you saw him? Yeah, yeah, they're just in his hand. <laughs> I'll, I'll Occasionally, wait. he has some in his mouth, spinning out all these things. I'll him. wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll wait uh, until uh, you describe what's going on before I heal. Okay, well, you're not going to know if you're not at the edge looking. Is the problem? Oh, <laughs> and he can't see it, and he and can't. See I'm it. inside, so still. I'm not going to describe it. <laughs> Go watch until people can you see. You know it. what? Okay, fine. <laughs> I, I mean, five. you can get there too. Five. Really okay. wants to say it. <laughs> he gets up. And Cat, come with me. Uh, stumbles to the edge. I gotta see what this is. All right. Okay. What just happened? Uh, so you guys, as you're getting there, you see Amaya's limp body shattering through the second floor window. Okay. And you see Bill, like, falling backwards. Like, he grabbed her and threw her. And he's now plummeting towards the ground. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Bill was actually heroic for once. Does he feel any glass? Oh, that's something you don't see every no, day. No, because the glass would have been breaking inward. Nah. Doesn't mean that there wasn't any yeah, breaking no. out. <laughs> Crazy. Hey! Hey, Jack! Bill's plummeted toward you. Catch him. I mean, I will let you make an intelligence roll. Okay. Uh, that's an eight. Okay. Street magic might be able to help. <sighs> or telling me where to stand. Because, you know, <laughs> it allows you to create gusts of wind and things like that. Yeah, and do yeah. minor things here and there to affect things. Fine, fine. Phantasmal forces. Just, you know, just rattling off some Plus, things. Well, I've got a 17 to catch somebody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to combine with him. I'm going to do Gust of Wind just to make uh, the catch better. Okay. Uh, roll. Oh, that's a 16. Okay, so very heroic moment. Bill's falling backward. You move in place. You feel the wind pick up around you as you're, as you're oh. moving over to catch. You're like, whoosh. And you grab him, and somehow he slows just enough to where you don't die <laughs> from being under someone that has plummeted four stories. And you catch him, 
and you only fall on your butt as you lower him to the ground. And he's yeah, like, oh, probably. oh, thank you, and he gives you a big hug. And a big kiss. Uh, thank you, thank I, you, thank you, thank you. I want to contest the fall on my butt. I was in a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> I have an agility of seven. 210 pounds plummeting from 50 feet above you. That's a lot of power. He can fall on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting in the way. There is going to be some butt falling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and since he's out of the way. I'm going to my sunflower seed bag. Uh, hi. Hi. Yes. I rip it out of his hands. Yeah, I, I, rolled, I rolled a 10. Yeah. Somehow in the catch <laughs> and you lowering him to the ground and you falling with him, you're able to grab it and take it out of his hands without him even realizing it. It was all just one. <laughs> and he's like, oh, thank you. And he's like hugging you. And there's a distinct odor. <laughs> a piss emanating from Bill Sender. <laughs> You're in trouble now. Since I'm supposing he's out of the way. I'm going to need you to get your legs off me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll be back. I've got to. Okay. I've got to go change. And he starts walking down the street. <laughs> Squish, squish, Rather squish, rapidly. Squish, squish. I'm supposed to also, I think I'm supposed to punch you for um, <laughs> leaving the building. No, not me. I was told anybody trying to leave the building. But not us. Uh, I don't remember. Actually, I don't even remember what I was supposed to do with the door. It just had to be something. Okay, well, you stay there and make sure but no one else... take the door, so it's okay. No one else leaves the door. There's an arm coming through. There's an arm? Oh, no, he's, he's supposed to tell you that there's a fight on the roof, but it's over. It's okay. By the way, I'm going to open up the door. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to just move it with my arm just like that. No. <laughs> Pull the door off the hinges. <laughs> You're strong enough. Probably. But no, I'm just going to open up like that, and I'm just going to say, Hey, Jack, come grab this guy. He's on my shoulder, on my right shoulder. Your right shoulder. Yep. Okay. Um, You're going to have to maneuver around a little bit, because... Uh, I got my arm in the door. It's a 14. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, to find him. you walk up, you're, you're like, between your sense of hearing and your, your touch capability, you can tell where he is, and you, you he walks up almost unerringly. Sort of, his hands are just out a little bit, and he goes, oh, grabs him, takes him off your shoulder. And your blind. Your blind. How <laughs> heavy is he? Um, he is only um, 195 pounds. Fantastic. I'm putting him under the sniper rifle. Under the the sniper rifle exploded and is now laying down on the ground. So you're going to pick him up and put him back on... No, I'm putting him on the ground and then I'm putting the sniper rifle to hold him in place. Okay, not a problem. A 20-pound sniper rifle? Well, maybe about 15 yards since it did explode. Well, right? may maybe like closer to 10. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Depending on how much of it exists Yeah, still. yeah. Why does he need to be held in place exactly? I don't know. <laughs> I might try to run away. He's unconscious. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a body on my, sh on my arm. On my sh okay, so what do you guys do at this point? Shoulder. Initiatives are gone. So I'm just going to work around. I look at him just with a questioning look of... You look at him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Would you mind, please? So what you see, by the way, is you see his, his amulet is mostly covered by his skin from the last healing, or partially covered by a skin from the last healing you did. You see a wound that is closing, that is a gaping wound, looks like a gunshot wound. And <laughs> hey, you still see the bullet in there. Well, you, you wouldn't be able to see the bullet. It might have been a thrown you, through. First off, you bandaged it. No, right? it wasn't. It's been, it's and then been it was stabbed, the <laughs> so there's blood. So maybe it pushed for... Then it was electrocuted, oh. so there's... Yeah. Cauterization? Cauterization? Cauterization, because it was a hot bla electric blade that hit you... You know. Oh, hey, what's that? I pull the, the amulet out of its flesh. <laughs> oh. And then I heal him. Oh. <laughs> Make a will roll. Right? As you take two help. <laughs> you, should, you should have said, oh, hey, there, look, there's a oh, flying cat. Knock him out again. What, 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 he doesn't get a will roll. <laughs> what'd you roll? Double ones. Oh, yeah. It says, Ugh! and he just starts passing out. I rolled a 16. And then you, you come, come back. back. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, how good did that's, I do? That's what I'm checking. Your rank is a nine, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're back up to full health. When Barnabas does it, it's cool. When Sifa does it, it's cruel. <laughs> you're you're like 
half supported by your by the back of the chain. He's holding on the medallion. He's got his hand on your shoulder. Other your good shoulder, not your bad shoulder. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. We sort of let go of his chain as he stands back up. All right. Well, I think that um, we need. I hit. think we need to go and uh, see to the rest of the rest of this circus. Mm. Carnival. <laughs> circus. <laughs> so, what's that about a carnival? <laughs> <laughs> Menagerie, so, what? John, right. uh, I saw her crash through the second, second floor. floor. Yep. <sighs> this time, go down the stairs, see if there's anybody that's still alive. No, of course. But yeah, I'm no, right no, behind they're, they're all dead. You see him stopping and checking pulses, and all the people are dead. That uh, are on the I'm going to pull out my phone and call Detective Clay. Okay. And say, hey, you're not going to believe this, but uh, it was a Belial attack. And uh, there are a lot of people dead here. Where are you? Uh, you know that apartment so we're, we're in your area, and it looks like people are just crazy, or were crazy, and now they're all confused about what's happening. Oh, yeah, that was uh, the Belial attack. Um, we're, okay. in that, we're in a four-story four apartment. Four store apartment building, uh, just a uh, uh, hop, skip, and jump away from the bus. By half mile away. Okay, okay, we'll... Uh, I'll, I'm uh, going to come down. I'm not going to send people your way. There should Just be. describe it to me. Let oh. me know what I'm what I'm getting into. Oh, looks like Silhouette was uh, uh, making his way to to the roof and shot everybody in the stairwell. One uh, one shot each, fatal. Um, and dangerous was here too. Mm, dangerous was here. Uh, she was the one doing the doing the the crazy mm-hmm. stuff through everybody's cell phones. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, we fought them. Uh, they flew off. Uh, we're, we're in bad shape, but I can fix them up. Okay, well, I'm, I'm making my way over there. Give me about 15, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, don't leave the crime scene, please. Of course not. I'll need to vet you guys. Don't leave the building. Got it. Uh, hold on. Wait, I got another call coming through. Have fun. Beep, beep. You're, did you hang up or do you stay there? Yeah, he didn't no. say hang on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, about a minute late or 45 seconds later, he's like, yeah, um, so evidently the feds are on their way over to you. I was told to stand down. Um, so bitch. nothing I can do. They have some people that are going to be there in a few minutes. The people you probably already met. Evidently one of their agents oh. called it in. Oh, uh, well. Uh, Bowdry. Agent Dahmer. Dahmer. Uh-huh. Of course, Agent Dama. Of course, Bill did. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, they, they've got some people coming over. They told me to tell you to not go anywhere. Um, but I'm going to leave that to you. It's up to you. You know, the feds are going to be there. So It's all good. We need to fix ourselves up. Lick our wounds. Okay. All right. In some so cases, literally. I find, uh, <laughs> I find a Maya. <laughs> Do I find a Maya? Yeah, yeah, so you go walking, you know, you get to the second floor, you walk down, you guys are taking your time, you get there, you actually, she was thrown through the window at the end of the hallway, she's unconscious, um, bloodied, looks like her shoulder might be dislocated, uh, it was not nice part. when she went through the window, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not like he delicately placed her on the window, he threw her as hard as he could. Which isn't saying much for Bill, but hey. It was enough to save her life. It was enough to save her life. <laughs> so give me one second. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to pop her shoulder back in place. Now, John, when I do a healing, does... Uh, Usually everything goes back. Don't worry about it. So, all oh Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, please have mercy upon this this alien who, uh, who looks like an angel but kills like an angel. <laughs> like an angel. Well, yeah. yeah Archangel, maybe. What really Can't roll. An angel. Well, that's an 11. So, good news. You get some health back. Um, you get about four. Um, Bad news. So, one discussion we never had is really how much of you was technological. 
and how much wasn't. Um, but when you wake up, you're seeing things aren't quite right. Uh, your vision is like almost like a TV that's on the fritz is the best way to describe it. It's like the image is there, but it's, it keeps moving and flashing and, and shifting a little bit as you're seeing this. Oh, I can help you go. I can help you get through that. Your, uh, your, your wings, even though you've got them pulled in, are hurting. Um, it's, they don't feel right. Um, you can actually <coughs> feel them shifting when they're not supposed to, just randomly. Um, did Almost just, like you've got a, a virus in your technological parts. Did I just feel her, her flesh a bit? Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, you see her her eyes open, and she's you know she takes a breath, and her shoulder relocates, and all of that. Oh, hey, Sugar. <clears throat> Are you all right? You uh, you almost no. left us here. I know. I. I. Offering a hand to help you up. I don't want to stand. <laughs> Stay put. Hmm. John, do I think uh, I can do more, or is uh, is she done? Uh, as far as it's my... it's hard to tell. I mean, she's got a, a weird look on her face, and she's uh, you see like her her body is moving a little bit like this, but it's doesn't look unnatural. I mean, it doesn't look You're natural, but it doesn't. Twitchy. There just seems to be something. I think uh, I different. think I'll try <coughs> try some more. Lord, please uh, cure whatever, whatever afflicts this, this young lady. Uh, that's a 10. Hi, or low. Hi. Since healing is a mystical power now. <coughs> oh, boy. Okay. So you, you feel like you're getting better, and then you feel more pain erupt out of your wings and out of your back. It feels like your body is trying to reject the technology at this point. Stop. Stop. Okay, I tried. <clears throat> and, and that'd be probably more of a scream, you know, as she you know, yells, stop. I would have screamed if one of them was tickling <laughs> me. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> all I got. Yeah, you'd hear that from outside. No, don't worry. Because it's like right out a window area and it's open. I'll head into the gym once tonight. <laughs> By once, you mean like three times? No, no, giggles. No. Giggles shouldn't be screaming. <laughs> All right, then. You, watch the door. Make sure it doesn't do a door, and I run inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Maya, I'm going <laughs> <laughs> oh, to pick you up now and carry you out. And he... Throw he her resist, out right? of the window? Carry her. Oh, I think you said throw her out. <laughs> throw you out the used garbage. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Yes, it worked. Oh, um, I okay. I ran up the stairs. So, make a perception roll. Nine. Okay. So as you're going up the stairs, you feel you notice that they're a little bit slippier than normal. So you're not running abruptly. You slow down. You're going at a fast walk, a range walk. Um, but the running, you know, just to make sure that you don't slip so and fall, since you can't see. Feet. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably clarify to anybody who's not aware of that I do not wear shoes. <laughs> Ew. Footprints. <laughs> Detailed footprints. Pretty much. Oh man, you must be dying in this hot Atlanta heat <laughs> when we're when we're hanging out in the parking lot twenty four seven. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing in the shadows of anything, <laughs> right? I do tend to stay in the bus, spilling some water <laughs> on the ground and standing in it. <laughs> No, it wasn't water this or time. Some, or some tea. <laughs> or some tea. It's true, I do have a bunch of that terrible tea. <laughs> it wasn't tea this time. <laughs> well, you so know what? you come running up. Um, We're going down the elevator. Okay, so... I'd probably be there before. By the time you get there, cold. the elevator door opens. And, and you hear, you know, ding, ding. Do I hear that they are by the elevator? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can hear their hearts and whatnot. I mean, let's you'll know that they're there. Amaya? I go to join them. We'll be back in the bus in a few minutes. Giggles, are you okay? okay? I don't answer that. <laughs> it's kind of obvious. Did she she doesn't say twitching? a thing. No. Uh, actually, hey, hello, Trevor. Hi. Okay, you can get a perception roll. 
Double threes. Followed by double ones. Woo! Okay, so no, you you you're just too focused on her. You're think, you're you're hearing there's there's ringing going on, and you're just you're just turning that off. So you're just focusing on her. So you, you're just using regular hearing. So you don't hear any unusual noises coming from her at this point. <coughs> she's not good. She's not all right. We need to get her back to the bus now. Is she awake? Hmm. Yes, she is. And uh, why'd you just uh, run through all that blood? Giggles was screaming. Everybody on the elevator, let's go. You're an idiot. Okay, you guys. I left somebody with the door. Go down. Meanwhile, downstairs. Oh no, I'm waiting. See a black car. Hold up. I also didn't know that the stairs were bloody until I stepped in them, and then it was too late. A black sedan pulls up. You see two familiar people get out wearing nice black suits, white shirts, black ties. <laughs> oh, they're wearing ties. Gray walks up to you. I think I've seen you before. <sighs> where, 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 where did I see you? Where's Agent Dahmer? Who? Agent Dahmer. Who? Isn't he right here? Who's yeah, Agent Dahmer? He wasn't. You're, you're, you're oh, coming down okay. the elevator. Okay. Talk. Rosalind in Nirvana in the elevator. He looks over at the other agent, whose name is escaping me right now. Winfield. 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 Thank you. I looks over at Winfield. Winfield. I don't remember the names. Um, I don't remember and Winfield Bidwell. goes, "Get back here." No, never mind. Change your clothes and then get back here. <laughs> you don't have to go into that. No, you do not have to go into that much detail. Okay. Yes. Okay, Gray, uh, looks like I'll stay out here. You take this guy inside and find the others and see what's going on. I understand uh, there's bodies. Take me inside. I'm kind of stuck here. And who's that? Uh. Is he points at the. NYPD? Oh, that's the guy! Ha <laughs> 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 Oh, this is gonna be he's got a sniper rifle nice. laying on him is nice. Is that his gun? Uh will we be coming out the road no. now? No. I don't remember. Okay. Do you mind helping me out though? Gray, who's a big guy, mm -hmm. walks up. I mean, I don't wanna move just in case. Grabs the door. Uh huh. Grabs your shoulder. Uh huh. This might hurt a bit. And before you can blink, you're like three feet away from the door. Your arm is out. Uh -huh. um, you don't... There's no blood. There's scratches. no gushing. No, not even scratches. Oh, yeah. well, you shattered safety glass. Yeah. He's like, Phew. there you go. But I also shattered safety glass. But he, so. he moved you really <laughs> fast. Uh -huh. Like faster than you can blink. You're now three feet behind him. My arms extended out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "You can put your arm down. Follow me." Okay. Don't move. And follow goes, me. He goes walking. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> uh, and he goes walking in. Where are we going? To meet up with your friends. Which right one? about now, Which the one? elevator opens up, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I assume that that's going to be them. <laughs> who, who do I see? So you guys step out. You see Gray, which is the taller agent. Um, you see Jonah mm -hmm. staying be behind him as the door closes. Oh, hey, him. preacher man. How you doing? Mm -hmm. and, you and he, he's got door. his sunglasses, and he sort of lowers them like he looks down. They got away. You guys did this, huh? Hmm. You guys did this? Did he points towards the dead bodies. Dead bodies? <laughs> no, we did not. <laughs> oh no, that that was Mr. Dangerous. Silhouette. Yeah, how was I supposed to know Dangerous there was blood Silhouette on the stairs? Away. By the way, there was uh, that was Mr. Silhouette and Miss Dangerous. Actually, I, I think someone told me at one point, Detective Guy over here did some of it, maybe all of it. No, I don't, know. I don't think he's competent enough to do that sort of shot. I mean, I just I just think I remember that. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's true or not. I don't know when it happened, so, how it happened. Uh, Mr. Gray, is it? Agent Gray. Ah, yes. 
So, um, let me show you a video. I'll show them a video of of the flying, the, the retreating uh, silhouette and uh, dangerous. Send this to this number. He pulls, pulls out a business card and hands you a business card. There you go. Thank you. Um, so, so what did happen? Is she okay? She'll be fine if you miss. Um, we hope. Her, her fleshy bits are okay. Excuse okay. me, ma'am. I hadn't met you yet. I'm Agent Gray. Are you all right? Sort of. What's wrong? Mm. I... They did a number on me. Which one? Silhouette or dangerous? Both. Can you stand? I don't want to. He just walks up and starts I've got just her. looking around. He stops. I'll take her from here. That's up to the lady. And he reaches for you. I trust him takes for you, some reason. Takes her from you. We're going to go very fast. Hold on. Tables, are you sure about this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, there's enough <laughs> time. And I need fun? you guys to roll yeah. perception rolls. Because that's about as much time as you have. Am I hearing something? Am I seeing something? You might be able to see something. Okay. 19. I don't think I do. Eight. <laughs> no, no, you, you witness it, but not as well as oh, okay. 18. So you say yes? 27. Yeah. Okay. 27. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, so you just see him as he tells her to hold on. His body like starts to blur, almost turning to what looks like Quicksilver, as he just spins in place, and you just see the streak out the door. So what do I see? So you feel the wind pick up, <laughs> and you feel the ground vibrate. Um, not, not like someone running, but like an army running. It's a lot of people. All at the same time. So what As I you feel the wind pick up and just move right past you. So you just see him take her, says, hold on. She, she sort of gets her grip as good as she can, and then they just fade out. They're gone. And what do I see? The, the, the wind, and he's gone. You just see them vanish. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like, and the wind. <laughs> the wind that picks up. So cool. They're gone. <laughs> 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 what the... <laughs> It's nice to see the sausage being made. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. It's just the same. Preacher man, preacher man. Did you did you see that? That was yeah, that I was, saw it. He's gone. He's, he's he was here and then he's just he's I gone. You say that to who? To who? Gray's gone. It's you guys. No, Winfield's minus Amaya. Winfield's there. Winfield's there right? He's outside with the guy. You guys are inside I, at the elevator. Step inside. Step outside? Okay. So you're just going to walk outside. Okay. He look. You see Winfield standing there. He looks up. He's got his foot on the unconscious. He's got his foot on the sniper rifle on the unconscious Which detective. Which is what I was going to do. And then I remember <laughs> that I don't have shoes. <laughs> oh, hey. Agent, Agent Winfield. Uh, Winfield, right? Agent Winfield? Just call me Win. Oh, hey, Agent Wynn. Oh. When do you want us to call you? I thought... <coughs> oh, that's right. Windmill. I thought... Uh, <laughs> Smack. I thought you guys uh, traveled in... I, uh, <coughs> are you all right? Pants. I would like a surgeon. Why? I have a melted bullet in my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, oh, by the way, did you know if those uh, <gasps> giant canes explode? Oh, that's good. No, yeah, John. yeah, these... I was going to ask how this thing got broke. Hold on. Do you need someone to pull that out? Oh, please say yes. <laughs> You're going to enjoy this, aren't you? Oh, well, so much. Please say you need me to pull that out of you. Grab that so you... Go for it. <laughs> Just give me a second. You heal people, right? That's, that's like... what I've been told. Great. Mm -hmm. You might want to catch him. Do you, <laughs> do you need me to hold him? He braces. <laughs> he just I walks up, and you see his hand blur, and you feel a lot of pain. <laughs> and he goes, 
and he drops the bullet into his hand. That's a new bullet. Yeah, here you go. Souvenir. Oh. Yeah, we'll save. <laughs> yeah, we'll save. <laughs> 18? Yeah, you're like... Ugh! Ugh! Ralph. <laughs> yeah, you, you took three health. Um, <laughs> I rolled a 19. But and then uh, you feel great. <laughs> As he drops Lord the bullet. Lord Almighty, <laughs> please help this unworthy <laughs> skank a cat. <laughs> oh, that was so fun and rejuvenating. Oh, yeah, it's been so long since I've been able to help one of your kind in that way. So, so you wanted to know where the gun came from, right? Yes. So, all right, picture this. It fell from the sky for you. <laughs> you weren't even there. <laughs> Anyway, yes, right, please, this. regale so, me. I'm, I'm, I'm writing in uh, my book of my latest exploits in battle. Uh, I was told to watch the door or something about the door. I don't know. It's Apparently it acts up. Uh, oh, yeah, there's <laughs> a big hole in it. I don't know how that happened. Right? Um, I know how it happened. Just you'll something. have to listen in later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so there I am, guarding this door. In case it wants to run off or something. So the blind man is guarding the door. Of, of course, yeah. Because everybody is, else is decided to go and, and you can't see. Oh well, yeah, but I can hear if the door's open. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So I wait, so, so that's that's why there's like a little like dent in the door. Wait, he's blind. It opened once, right? Yes, he's blind. Smashed. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead oh. of you. Continue. Yeah, so I'm, 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 writing, I'm writing into my book, uh, and then I finish that up. He does. Uh, so I put it away. <laughs> right. And then. Uh, to, to prevent the door from opening, I don't know which way it goes, but I leaned up against it, so I think it comes out. Um, it does. Very uh, astute. And then I took a little bit of a nap, and then I heard uh, a car not crash, uh, but it got close, um, I think. Uh, and then, out of nowhere, this gun just plummeted from the sky. So, being a, a concerned citizen... I moved it to the side and I, I, I sat it up like this, and uh, there was a big f white flash of light. How do you know it was white? Well, that's what I saw. <laughs> Fair enough. And and then the white was uh, wiggling. Um, and then somebody told me that there was some a jumper. So I, I reached out my arms and I caught uh, uh, Agent Dahmer. Uh, he urinated on my leg. I sent him away. Um, As he does. Oh, at some point I kicked the door uh, because somebody was opening it uh, and I was told to not let the door door. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say it so I don't lose my shit laughing. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about a door, and then I heard a cry for uh, stop from the, the about halfway up this building, I think. Like 30 feet up. You realize you're bleeding, right? No, but I did run through some blood. Yeah, no, no. Stomach. Metal fragments sticking out of it. <laughs> Hadn't noticed. Right. Do you want me to take care of that for you? Sure. You, you reach towards it. You don't see anyone move. You feel someone smack your hand. <laughs> and you hear whispered in your ear, Bad kitty. Yeah. Woof. <laughs> he actually says that. Apparently there's dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that one left, evidently. Here, do you want my help? I mean, if you're a, a practicing physician. No, I'm just practicing. <laughs> I didn't say trained. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you got you that one. <laughs> He's going to need your uh, special touch. As you see him turn and you see his wait, hands wait, wait, blur before, a little bit. Before you do it. <laughs> as how you're saying, bad is it? As you're saying before you do it, you, feel, you feel like a weird sensation as abs. things get yanked out of your stomach. Um... But it's it's more of a weird sensation of something passing through your stomach, sideways. That's how it felt the first time. <laughs> but it's the opposite direction. With, without the white heat this time. <laughs> no heat, just weird. You take a health. Well, that's fine. Lucky bastard. 
And he goes, and uh, do you want your souvenirs? What do they look like? Describe them. Uh, little bits of the gun. Jagged metal bits. What am I going to do with those? Okay, then. I'll keep them as evidence. Lord Almighty. Pulls out an evidence bag. <laughs> Please have oh, mercy and upon this in, imbecile. Then I ran into the, uh, the stairwell because <laughs> I needed to get up to the second floor fast or whatever. Oh, it's a 13. Okay, and, and then you, uh, you feel great. You feel like you're top of the line all of a sudden. Oh, fantastic. A million pounds? <laughs> yeah, a million pounds. Uh, and then uh, apparently there's blood on the f- stairs. Hashtag giggles. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> From uh, Hairball? From Hairball in chat. Thank you, Hairball. Apparently there's uh, blood on the stairwell. Nobody told me about that. Actually, actually, you knew about this. When we uh, went, first went to the building, uh, we told you to stand by the door because there was blood on the on the stairs. We didn't want you tripping. He's Did blind. You? He can't see it. Yes, uh, <laughs> that was about smack. Oh, uh, a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, about like, uh, oh, oh, about like three minutes ago. <laughs> Fifteen minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> I could have sworn I was only told about a door. <laughs> no, you, act- <laughs> you actually were inside the lobby with us. Okay, remember? well, no, I, don't you ever, I never got inside the lobby. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's why we all saw it. Back up, except you, for you. Back up a little bit. You said you were writing in your book about your battle exploits. Yes. yes. And you're blind. Yes. How? How did I go blind? No. How did you write in your well, book? Well, you see, uh, when I was fifteen. No. How did you write in your book? With a pencil. And you saw what you were writing. No. Can I look at your book? I'd rather you didn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's his so. personal journal. Okay. Listen, why don't you guys go back to your bus? I've got this. He leans a little bit heavier on the on the gun on the guy. <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> I'll clean this up. We'll take care of this. As far as I'm concerned, you guys weren't here. Hold up. What about the boy? So who is this guy? What is what is he? Oh, he's a New York police detective. Yeah, but why is, it is that he? Same, that asshole! I swear to God, I was trying to get a bird, and like he's got you a see, you know, yeah, I know. Jack, you know about Jack? Ghosting? Come along. Yeah, come but, along. But we're, what? we're getting the pass from the police. About him. Her, but just her. Just, just curious her. though. Why is he here? I will find out. Has he been just causing ruckus all over, all over town? Let's just say he's not number one on our list of happy people to see. Gotcha. Okay. And him being here is going to be raise some interesting questions. He did say he was looking for a Bill Sender trying to. Trying yeah, to get that's him. what he told us too. Yeah, but he also was saying that Bill Sender apparently killed some people. Yeah, bullshit. That's what. Oh, he's by the way, that, that's what I remember too. Bill Sender also said he was the one killing some people with that. So you spoke with Bill Sender? Yeah. Yeah. Is that strange to you? I'll call you later. Here's my card. Ooh, Maybe fancy. we can talk. Oh, Jonah. You just made yourself a Take big off. world of trouble. <laughs> we'll get this. Lay for Thank Prince, you for your help. You find my boat. It should still be on the fourth floor. We'll send it to you. We know where to find you. I'm sure you do. All right. So... Do you find any extra sunflowers? Have you guys seeds? heard back from, uh, have had any communication with Agent Baudry? I sent her some, her some information, but, uh, oh, hold on a second. Check the phone. Didn't she reply? Nope. Oh, she hasn't replied yet. Last I heard she had to catch a flight. Yep. <laughs> it's the last I heard, too. Hmm. Hold on a second. He takes out his phone. Has he got any re- re- uh, return calls? Nope. I don't remember anything calls else again. we talked about. Hello. low. Low. But she needed to catch a flight. No response. Go straight to voicemail. Oh, I think she's going to Oklahoma. That was um, her intention. That helps. Um, thank you. Appreciate a it. A friend of mine is also missing. Who do you think they are? We'll Reference librarian? No, but... Thank you guys for your help. 
any follow-up questions, we'll we'll be sure to meet you at your bus. And if we find your bow, we will return it to you. Before you dissect back it? Giggles? As yep. soon as she's better. Where did you take her? I didn't. Where did he take her? She'll Good be fine. Question. You don't know? John, Let's just say point, I'm not the one that carried I'm walking off, away. So I don't know. Because I cannot bear the sight of this train wreck anymore. <laughs> However, he is also your subordinate. I feel like you should. Yes, and he did his duty. And Let's go. Taking care of an injured person. Got me your collar. Let's go. <laughs> You're not moving me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm sorry. Why what, are you continuing you to talk to the law enforcement? I'm just trying to get some information. Let's go. I'm supposed to do we'll now. get all the information. He just said, to go, to go to the bus. Go to the bus. We'll reach out to you if we have any further questions. Okay. All well, right. Let's have go. a good day, windmill. No, he said to call him when, but I still don't know when that is. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, you guys all go back to the bus. Christine. Yeah. Your character, the world seems to warp around you. It's it's a weird feeling. It's almost like everything else is standing still or moving backwards as you're moving forward. <laughs> <coughs> He eventually stops, and you're in what looks like an operating room. And he sets you down on the table. How long have it been acting up your technology, your implants? Since that tech lady touched me, my wing. She touched you. Yes. It's a little bit worse than I thought. Um, I just just relax. It's gonna be a little bit, but we'll have someone here. Do you need anything for your pain? What do you have? What would you like? <laughs> <laughs> we are the federal government. <laughs> wow. I'll take what I can get. Okay. And he hooks you up to an IV and the pain fades completely as you drift off into a bl- blissful sleep. And that is where we are going to leave. Woo! is a hell of a this drug, week. kids. So, also first off, I want to say thank you to Enduring nice. Films. Thank Appreciate you, Chuck. it. Thank you, Chuck. want to say Chuck. thank you to Epic Worlds and Games. Hey, hey Jimmy! Epic Worlds and Games! Um, hey, and uh, Four Eyes Ales. Love the beer. Love it. Want more. Need more. Um, Nick and Nick and Rochelle, please. thank you again for everything. Uh, Hairball Dragon Gem. Appreciate your sponsorships. <laughs> Uh, subscriptions, whatever. Plenty Sorry. Of brothers. Um, all the viewers, thank you again. We couldn't do this without you. One last announcement for everyone here. Um, Christine will be leaving the stream. Tonight <laughs> is her last night. Oh, um, I'll come back eventually. She will be coming back intermittently as a, as a very treasured and welcomed guest player mm-hmm. um, as time permits. So I do want to say thank you to Christine um, for everything that you've done up to this point on stream and everything you continue to do for us behind the scenes. We greatly appreciate it. Thank Thank you you. for all your help. We did have a great time. Mm. I miss you most of all, Scarecrow. Yeah. (laughs) That being said... She's not Scarecrow. Please have a good night, everybody, and we will see you on Thursday for uh, Fortune Favors the Board. Yes. And uh, on the first. Then we'll see you on Sunday. Yes. Bye.